Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome, Imperameter. Welcome, Calvisham. You know, Chan, I was trying to decide what to do for Halloween, and I remember that I own these games. <laughs> now, the problem is what version of the game to play. I will say, before we start this playthrough, I wish the PC version was Disgaea 1 Complete in some regards. Apparently there were a lot of quality of life changes to it. So if you are vaguely interested in this game after going through, I would probably just immediately recommend you get a console version of the game instead. But I own the Steam version, which for a while was the best version, but apparently since then, QOL has passed it on complete. So one thing I hear about this game, even if you haven't heard about much of the series, it's basically going to be, well, allegedly, according to other people, there's a lot of grinding in this game in order to play the game. I honestly don't think there is. I, I think I'm going to try to call people out. My attempt tonight and through the rest of the sessions is to basically replay as little, if anything at all, as possible and just beat the game doing almost entirely story mode stuff. I think there's one time I am forced to do something other than story mode. And that in itself is technically part of story. So we'll see where it goes. But uh, yeah, we're going to try our best with some mechanics. It's been a while since I played, so I want to take it little sections at a time. I have with me a little bit of notes as we go through. I have played through the game start to finish before. So I, I will not be surprised by the plot, so just an FYI. But yeah, uh, also disclaimer, for people that are looking to potentially play the Steam version, I will denote it was really annoying to set up chat. I, I don't want to undo my setup to show you what it looked like before. I downloaded something called, I think, the Printy Mod in order to get it to function. But oh boy, I will stay out of the box. It was a it was a journey trying to get this to work on PC. I think it is now working. We will find out together if it is working as intended yet again. It was uh, interesting. I can't say I've ever seen in a game before everything replaced by black boxes. So that was weird. So hopefully we will get a decent looking game as we play through now. Hopefully everybody is doing well. For now, uh, I think, I think initially I'm going to leave some animations on, but I believe I can forcibly skip them in the game by holding circle. It has been a while since I've done it. I'm, I think that was the thing in the first game. The first game's a little rough, I will say, in terms of mechanics. I remember not enjoying it as much as some of the sequels mechanically, but I think the story still mostly holds up, so I figured we'd start where it all began, more or less. Okay, at least everything seems to not be glitching. So by the way, Chad, when I flickered between uh, character filters, or I went to go between old and new look of the game, because you have an option to do so, it, uh, it just gave me black screen stuff, so... Fingers crossed, chat, that this intro will load. It might look a little weird, but that's Disgaea PC for you, I guess. We'll give it a shot. King Kridrefskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later... Prince! As it will become increasingly apparent, the game is supposed to be a comedy, but We'll, we'll see how chat feels about it after a few chapters. Prince, wake up! This brat just won't wake up! Well, 
If that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Lahar? <gasps> Prince! I'm glad you're still alive. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I, I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh, yeah! Big news! Your father, King Krzyzewskoy, has died! In what? When? Two years ago. Wait a second! So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. Yup? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? For I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne! <laughs> Your humble vassal Etna will accompany you. Etna has joined your party. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. So chat is curious, the voice actress for Laharl is indeed Rita Repulsa. So we're playing Rita Repulsa. I don't care what the game says, we're definitely Rita Repulsa. I think I want to slightly do, I think I might knock the background music down just a little tiny bit. Since apparently I could just totally off it. Although I don't see voice volume in here, actually. Maybe it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll put it at 4 for now. Okay. It's not what I was expecting when I heard the voice, but you love it. Yeah. I'm just double checking some things. Okay. Nothing to worry about here. Nice sword, but it's chipped. Not a single round left. A lovely morning star. Cool looking drill. You know what? Funny enough, I think a majority of these items end up being actual items used by other characters later in the series. I think in the first game, nobody uses those. Drill is definitely a big thing in Makai Kingdom. So, we'll, we'll see how far we go in the series. New ally joined your party. So... For those that don't know, <laughs> Planair is kind of like the reoccurring mascot in the series. The PC version seems to automatically put her in your party. <laughs> she's, she's, she's just here now, chat. Welcome, Kerr. Uh, I guess I'll explain some basic mechanics while we're here. So, Gun is a weapon type that only really cares about hit in the first version of Disgaea. We have Spears and Swords, which will determine our different specials. You are going to see us kind of... Oops. You're going to see us kind of go through... And slowly... Oh, there it is. It's on there by default. And slowly try to get some weapon mastery to get skills. I think it's roughly every weapon proficiency point is 5% attack or stat bonus the weapon gives. And we could potentially modify any other equipment we have, including defense values and such, uh, based off our aptitude. So she has super speed and super hit, which is a little unfortunate because I don't think speed matters in Disgaea 1. They change the weapon formulas every now and then. Anyway, let's go talk to some demons. It just exists here, exactly. Just pooped into existence. Normally she mans the uh, dark assembly, but 
Apparently she's just in our party in this version of the game. Let's talk to Manti, a level 373 character. That's just like you, Prince. Taking a two-year nap. I only plan on... I only... Oh, excuse me. I only plan on napping for about 10 days. Hmm. Something's not right. Nothing like napping for 10 days, Chan. You know, it has been a while. I am pretty sure there are secrets here, but I might not be able to do it until the game tells me they exist. Yeah, I don't think I could do it until the game tells me. All the royal vassals left the castle shortly after the king died. Even with me still around? Well, you were sleeping. They must have forgotten about you. Ouch. Yeah, miss Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chat, oops. <laughs> I guess some of it exists. Huh. Interesting. How well do I remember the game? Well, we found a switch behind the throne. Oh well, looks like I wasted my time digging that grave for you. Put you in that grave instead. Hmm. Where were the other switches? Oh, now, now I'm like, oh boy, chat. I haven't played this in like 20 something years. Holy. Under construction, please come back later. Okay, we can't do anything with him yet. Mm -mm 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 -mm, chat. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse. Buddies really feel stiff from sleeping too much. Why don't you warm up on the tutorial map? Let's see the Dimensional Gatekeeper and she'll send you there. Yeah, we'll be going to the Dimensional Gatekeeper quite often. There's Niren, the Prinny. Feel a breeze, dude. This castle's getting old. In order to prevent, prevent intruders, I've closed all the gates. Please talk to the Dimensional Gatekeeper if you'd like to leave the castle. Yeah, whatever. You probably just didn't want to watch the gate. I was desperately trying to think of where the other switch was, chat. <laughs> just want you to know, I was in, like, deep contemplation for a moment. Is there a problem, Prince? I, Longinus, am at your service. Would you like to know about a weapon? Sure, let's learn about the different weapon types. Uh, spoilers, I'm probably only going to use one weapon this entire playthrough. We'll see if chat can guess which one I'm going to be using. Tutorial weapon, fists. Brawlers rely primarily on their fists as weapons. Normal attacks have a higher hit percentage and slightly higher chance of team attack than other weapons. The special techniques learned with fists are short range and have a small area of effect. Which is kind of ironic given that I think the later fist moves actually have a massive area of effect, but whatever. I'm pretty sure they have like bing bang. I think they have big bang blasts in this version of the game. Just like a 3x3 three three attack area, but whatever. But many will allow you to knock enemies into different positions. Yeah. Sword. Sword is a typical weapon for battle. Normal attacks with a sword do not have any distinctive characteristics. However, the special technique learns with the sword vary greatly. They'll be useful in many situations. In general, they're easy to use, but not very powerful and require a lot of SP. Okay. Spear. The spear is another popular weapon. Well, normal attacks with a spear are a bit weak. You have the advantage of being able to, to attack from two tiles away. So, I don't think I explained that in the beginning, but get ready for some turn-based combat, chat. The special techniques learned with the spear generally have a short range, but the area of effect varies. Furthermore, some techniques allow you to change your position. There we go. D-O-O-D. The dudes begin. Axe. Axe is a difficult weapon to use. What do you mean? It's one of the most straightforward. Unless he beats, it's easy. Normal attacks have a low hit percentage, but deal major damage when they do hit. Do they? I I feel... I... Hmm... Hmm... I don't think that's true, but sure. The special techniques learned with an axe have a short range and can only be used against a single enemy. Okay, that's more accurate. They seem a bit restrictive, but since its limitations are clear, you would say an axe is easy to use. I mean, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's the easiest weapon to use. Also, when stronger special techniques are available, the chances of lowering an opponent's defense are high. Yeah, if we were doing a very uh, boss-focused run, I would probably bring axe. Weapon bow. Bows are long-range weapons that archers specialize in. 
Normal attacks deal damage according to the following formula. Wow, the game just outright tells you. Attack divided by two, hit divided by two equals total damage. Special technique learned with the bow have long range and can affect single or multiple targets. However, the restrictions on the area of effect and required action space will take some time to get used to. Yeah, you can think of it this way. I think I can hit like three or four spaces away. Also, what's confusing about this game is I think in this one you get range bonuses if you hit certain proficiency levels with weapons. So I think it increases with bow as well. I know it does for staff. We'll get to in a little bit. Damage due to special techniques is... Oh. Yeah, that's fine. We don't, we don't care about the damage for bow. I probably will not use bow this entire playthrough. Honestly, the ranged weapons in the first game are kind of... Mm. Guns have the longest range out of all the weapons. Normal attack damage is calculated based on a character's hit stat. Yeah, Disgaea 2 onwards, I believe it's hit divided by 2, speed divided by 2, I think? We, we may or may not get there in the future. But anyway, it's not based off of just hit stat. Special techniques learned with the learn with a gun have a very long range. Special technique damage is also dependent on a character's hit stat. Yeah, the thing that it doesn't tell you is you could kind of think of like gun can only shoot in a straight line. Bow is kind of like your area of effect you could do anywhere in like a cursor or like a target symbol. Finally, we have staff, which... I guess technically I'll be using in the playthrough. Air quotes, I guess. Staffs are weapons that could boost the power of your magic. There's nothing special about doing normal attacks with the staff, and there are no special techniques to learn either. But you can increase the range and area of effect of your magic by improving your weapon mastery of staffs. The experience you have earned, earned casting spells will also affect the range and area of effect of your magic. Man, Chad, can you imagine if this happened in PSO? <laughs> Can you imagine if you could have, like, bigger Rafoe range by just being really good with the staff or something? Staffs are, are most effective when used by characters specializing in magic. <laughs> As in, don't use this on the protagonist, please. There we go. Uh, okay, we're done here. Okay. I think I know where the other switch is. Tutorial. Items can be purchased at the Rosen Queen Company Netherworld branch. The character can equip the four items. The character can equip one weapon and three other items, such as armor. Monsters can only equip weapons from the monsters only weapon category. Yeah, unfortunately in the first game, uh, if you do really like monsters, I have bad news for you. They are very annoying to level normally. There are other ways to get high level monsters though, which is very broken. I think I'll refrain from doing it in our playthrough, but maybe at the end, if Chowd is interested, I can break the game very horribly. It is best to equip a weapon that suits the character's inherent strengths. Yeah, but one downside with the monster weapons is it isn't until the later games that they divide, like, intelligence-based weapons and strength-based weapons, which is not readily apparent when you go to play. Also downside, it doesn't tell you what monster abilities use what, which also kind of sucks. Uh, there it is. There we go. I was like, I knew it was here. Okay. I think I unlocked something for us later. But my bad, chat. I didn't realize clicking out would make that do that. Also, by the way, chat, for some reason, if I use the mouse to move, versus this is D-pad, this is mouse. I could go really fast for some reason with the mouse. It's, it's kind of funny to me, to be honest. It's meow. We here at the Rosen Queen work hard day and night to offer a selection of merchandise that customers want. The selection is constantly changing. If you'll find something you want, try coming back at a later time. Translation, if you don't see what you want, repeatedly enter and exit the menu until you get something useful. So anyway, uh, a lot of this playthrough will be balancing out our rank system. So we have to pass bills, which we haven't really gotten to yet, in order to get better products. But to get customer ranks, I just have to buy and sell items. Mostly buy items. Hmm. I actually don't see what I want here, so I'm going to reset it. That is exactly what I want to get. So we're going to be kind of SP hungry. I'm going to need some of these. And now we need to get a better weapon. I suggest you equip weapons that are well suited for each character. You equip a warrior with a sword. His level of weapon mastery will quickly rise. 
You can have characters use weapons that are not best for them, but their weapon mastery will rise at a slower rate. Regardless of a character's ability with the sword, sword special techniques cannot be used unless the sword is equipped. Hello to past builds in this game, you have to be very hands-on with the voters. Yeah, well, we'll see that soon-ish. It'll probably be a few chapters before I need to do that. Or, not chapters, a few levels, excuse me, before we do that. It's best to focus on each character's specialty to start with. Alright, chat, we're gonna pick our main weapon for the entirety of the playthrough. It won't be our only version of this. Ooh, I could just barely afford this. So I'm gonna briefly describe this, but... I'm not going to go into, like, a ton of ton of details. Just be aware that on the right-hand side, I might move the chat over briefly so you can see it a little better. On the right-hand side of the screen, there is the idea of, uh, I think they're called specialists, where essentially weapons can have random stats added to them, indicated by the little circles near things like defense and hit, for example. And the level of them and the quantity of them are mostly denoted on this page, but you can see little circles representing what it boosts. So if I don't like this weapon, for example, I could just wait for a later one. I don't think I super care about defense. Yeah, like, I think I would rather have, if between these two choices, a little extra attack. I think that just kind of makes sense. Interesting, it didn't give me the op opportunity to immediately equip it. I did see she has an Imperial Seal. Hmm. It is very tempting to move this to the protagonist. I'm gonna wait a little bit. The reason being is that I need to get a certain number of hits in, and I think becoming too strong will actually mess that up, funny enough. So I'm gonna choose not to equip that right away, but eventually I will wear this. I need to make sure I get some basic abilities, so I don't want to go too strong too quickly. It's up to you, the save shop. Keep the Netherworld's records. Here you may view history of the Netherworld. Get an item, it will be recorded and won't disappear, even if you get rid of it. Though this is just a record, it may be useful to you as a guide. Records aren't worth any money or anything. They can be fun. How I use my records depends on you, so what do you wish to do? Uh, yeah, we have... A lot of things we could potentially pick up, right, chat? Like, oh boy. So, just to give you an idea of just how many items there are in the game, we'll just scroll through a couple of these. Yeah, we're not gonna bother with most of this. I don't know what EX is, actually, in this game. We'll find out eventually. Dark record. Okay. Actually, I want to bring up something here that is going to drive a majority of the playthrough. See that bottom most thing where it says friendly current killed current? I cannot accidentally kill a single single ally if I want to get the good ending. However, we will be seeing some bad endings today. So we're, we're going to have some alternate scenarios that might involve me uh, kind of genociding our party. Character creation rate, 5%. Uh, that'll be going up in a little bit. Yeah, we can see mentions of the item world, which we haven't come into yet. Don't need to worry about those. Oh, I didn't realize there were little descriptions of each of the characters. Also, chat, I'm gonna the I'm gonna read the only one that is important to know. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk about the pretties. Handle your pretties with care because they explode if you throw them. This is gonna be extremely relevant in our playthrough. Prinnies aren't technically demons. They are irresponsible, but they work for the Overlord to pay for their sins. That, however, is the real joke. They don't do their jobs well, so they'll be stuck in the Netherworld for a very long time. There you go, chat. Actually, lore-relevant... Imp important information just casually in there. Figured I'd go read that real quick. There's always someone better. You should keep working hard. Speaking of which, let me save our little journey so far. Tutorial for beginners. There are many features in this game, like the Dark Assembly in the item world. Ask the appropriate people for more info. Don't worry, you can still beat the game with minimal knowledge. Damn. You don't ever have to learn. Anyway, now we have the reception printy, because we took out Planeer, who normally guards this area. The assembly is currently not in session. Oh well. Alright, chat, let's go see a secret that some players don't realize exists. I think it's over here, right? Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? 
So if you recall, chat, we hit two switches. Just sh don't tell don't tell new players this is here. My memory. This is my secret chamber. Only I know how to get in here. This is where my most precious memories were locked away. That I remember, but I can't remember what they were. When I try to remember, my heart aches. This pain is proof of how dear those memories are to me. I have to get them back. Hmm. Anyway, this is purely optional. We could get a hint that it's supposed to be over here because he talks about feeling a breeze. The game tries to tell you, I guess, technically. But yeah, that's that's very easy to miss. Hmm. I think I'm gonna unequip the Imperial Seal from them for now. I do need them to potentially die for us. This is the item world. We have zombie. AKA the zombie. Eat, sleep, and do anything you want all day. It's so good to be a demon. Have you ever thought of working for me? <laughs> of course not. Damn. Look at that, Chad. He's level 338. We're so inferior to him. <laughs> In fact, everybody's super high level when we look at them. We'll go over here briefly. Welcome to the Netherworld Hospital. Here we'll treat your wounds and, ha and heal any and all damage you may have taken. We will, of course, charge you accordingly. You can earn prizes based on the total HP and SP that have been recovered. So please, go get thrashed in battle! Okay. So. It's actually super important that we kill off our party as often as possible. <laughs> the reason being, chat, is that the more they have to recover, the better the items I can get from here. And I think to get some of the better items in the game, I don't think it'll happen in this playthrough. We need up to 300 total deaths in order to unlock something. So we we got to start cracking at uh, that number little by little. So this game does not reward you for uh, keeping your people alive. In fact, it's encouraged you kill them like as often as possible. Have you saved yet? When you want to save, press Y to open the menu and select save. You can only save in the Overlord's castle. Once you've entered an area map, there's no turning back, so be careful. So keep that in mind, chat. I need to get a lot of deaths in this playthrough, but if I want to get the good ending, I can't physically kill them. So we have to be creative in how they die. <laughs> so th that's going to be a majority of the playthrough, chat, is me trying to figure out where I could kill people in a way that doesn't really annoy me much. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. you know what? I think I could get some early kills here. The tutorial assumes that I will be bad at the game, so we're we're gonna take advantage of this. I think right off the bat, <laughs> we're we're. Oh wait, no no no! I think that doesn't work. Oh, you know what it is? Even if I kill them here, it doesn't matter. So in the tutorial levels, I believe you are automatically healed to full. It, like your party members, who we don't see yet, by the way. We'll talk to her and get the party members. They will be automatically healed in between tutorial stages, which is not a normal thing. Going forward, we'll have to heal. So unless I kill them manually to get mana out of them, I don't think there's a point to it. So we'll ignore that in the tutorial, actually. Tutorial. I am the Dimensional Gatekeeper. I will input the coordinates for your desired destination, Prince, and you'll be instantly transported there. Please select where you would like to go. Tutorial. Uh, we'll play through Battle Basics 1 with story. Why not? Now then, time for a little warm-up. I feel a little rusty. Ah, uh, Prince, we've got company. How convenient. Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, Prinny Squad! Get your butts out here! Now! So, Prince, what do you think of this Prinny Squad I hired? They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. I'm not sure I understand your question, Calvisham, but yeah, we'll we'll be finding creative ways to kill them. So I alluded to something earlier. Uh, we could technically capture monsters rather than trying to level monsters. So I think towards the end of the game, 
I'm not gonna do it for the story. I'm gonna show that you also don't need to cheese the game to beat the game. Um, but I think later on, if we want to do some of the higher level challenges, like the 2,500 level fights or whatever, I think we'll just cheese those if chat is interested. We'll, we'll see where chat feels about the game or how they feel as we get further. Or we'll just move on. There we go, chat. Are you sure about that? Look, they're just spinning and having a good time. Oh, you mean oops. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we didn't get oopsed. Does it make sense to beat up your allies before a battle? Anyways, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. Hey, you're right. How nice of them to be so patient. Yeah, that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. Oh, you're so kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. C kind Stop that. That word gives me goosebumps. Damn it! I take it back. I'm gonna beat them all the way to death. Oh, he's still a kid. So quick-tempered. It looks like carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Mm -hmm. You say something. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. So, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? Tutorial, basics of battle. Just in case you forgot, let me explain the basics of battle. Move the cursor over the base panel and press A to select characters you wish to dispatch. Hmm. So, there is a limitation, chat. So basically, when we play battles, Going forward, we're only going to be able to summon 10 characters for any given battle. However, if we don't like the characters that are currently out, as long as they don't die, we can walk them back to the base panel to basically select out other people. So there are ways to basically use a whole bunch of people in one battle, but predominantly the party will not be more than 10 active at any time. If you want to cancel an order to dispatch a unit, move the cursor over the character and press B. For example, if you press B here... Damn, zip right into the area. Welcome Aether Drift. What a trustworthy ally we have here. Definitely. You could cancel the action. Let's issue a command to the, the dispatch a character. First move him or them next to an enemy. Select attack. Now assign an action. However, the character won't attack immediately. When to execute the actions that you've assigned, in the menu and select either execute or end turn. In this case, let's play let's pick execute. Fool's eye chat. Oh, we almost one shot. Which is good. I actually don't want to kill them right away. See, the character attacked. Unless proficiency doesn't matter about number of hits. Actually, I should probably check that. Hold on, chat. We're gonna fact check in real time. If it doesn't matter, I'm gonna equip that other Imperial Seal. See, the character attacked. Sign actions, Y, execute. Remember this. You'll be using this a lot. You assign actions to multiple characters. They'll be executed in the order that you assign them. Okay, it is each time you attack. So yeah, I don't want to get too strong too quickly. Be careful. You can't cancel actions once you've chosen to execute them. Once you've done it, once you're done issuing commands, open the menu and enter your turn. It will then be the enemy's turn. Ow! Why do I have to be the one to do this? I'm the next overlord for crying out loud. Dot dot dot. That was an example of something not to do. Only an idiot would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it! Characters killed in battle, like our prince here, will be revived by paying hell to the castle's hospital. If all your dispatched characters are defeated, the game will be over. So, the basic idea is to gang up on one character. Beat the living daylights out of them, huh? 
Exactly, Prince. Remember to use your head next time. You're the one who told me to do it. Team attacks sometimes occur when allies are positioned next to attacking characters. Several characters attack the same enemy in a row. A combo will result, and greater damage will be dealt. Want to know more? Press Y and select help from the menu. Nah, we don't need to do that. You know what? Funny enough, they did a lot of damage there, but I actually don't think they do that much damage normally. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's very weird to use D-pad in this game. To use the uh, control stick for that. Yeah, I think we just kind of wombo combo them. Yeah, we don't have any specials yet. Yeah, I was gonna say, they don't normally do that much damage. Get out of here. And so it begins, chat. We need to attack them a certain number of times in order to gain abilities. Nice level up. Ah, we learned our first ability. Blade Rush. Dash attack that slices enemies in half. So you can see the blue squares are where I can target. Yellow is where I'll end up. I don't really need it. We'll just keep attacking. Yeah, if I kill them too quickly, I actually don't learn what I need to learn. <laughs> Poor enemies, though. I love how the game, like, explicitly showed that you're not really supposed to solo them, but you can solo them. Take that as you will, I guess. Okay, we'll go to Battle Basics, too. More stray demons! How annoying! Wish I could just toss them. Well, why don't you? You can? Tutorial, lifting and throwing. For an ignorant prince, let me explain our commands lift and throw. Situations like this where you're too far for your attacks to reach. Pick up a character by selecting Lift. Yeah, we're gonna be making use of this, by the way, pretty often in the playthrough. But probably for reasons the game doesn't state here, which we'll see how far the tutorial gets. We'll, we'll fill some stuff in. Hey, stop it, Etna! And select Throw. You have to decide on a direction and distance, too. I'll throw you next to the enemy. Oomph, chat. See? I covered a lot of ground. Now you're able to attack. You can use lift and throw on both allies and enemies. Keep in mind that only humanoid characters can use lift and throw. Monsters can't do it. Yeah, monsters get the short stick there. We make a good use of these commands. You can extend your attack range. This is very helpful in moving around on some maps, so don't forget it. There are other uses for the commands besides covering ground, like holding an enemy so he she he she can't move. Saving injured allies from danger. Oh, they actually do mention it there. So, <laughs> if you're curious, chat, you could basically sacrifice your allies to the gods by just having them hold on to enemies. That could be one of the ways we have an, our allies killed off in frequent number. And if they are held, so if I hold an enemy, for example, between turns, that not only stops the enemy from ever getting a turn, but technically if I'm really high level, it won't even kill me for doing it. So I can stall pretty heavily. Also, I think the game doesn't check to see if there's valid targets in multiple areas. So for example, if I lift up Laharl with another character and they kill the person holding Laharl, they won't then attack Laharl because their original target is gone. So I could take advantage of that in a few different places. And you'll be seeing that abuse, I think, later in the game. By the way, pretties will explode when they're thrown, so handle them with care. Dude, you gotta be kidding! If you throw an enemy at an enemy, me with other fun uses waiting to be discovered. Try experimenting. Ah, yes, the most broken aspect of Disgaea. So, if you throw enemies together, uh, they basically merge into one monster, and the levels of one get added to the one that is thrown. Generally speaking, the one that is higher level will eat the one that is lower level. I think if they're even in level, the one that is thrown to is consumed. It doesn't come up very often. 
<laughs> in terms of being equal level. That's it. I'm gonna threaten you next time. Oh, one more thing. Erchin will take damage if the turn ends and he or she is still holding someone. Wow, I'm surprised the tutorial actually covers this. It really does try to tell you everything you need to choose the game, quote unquote. But it's all intended, so... Question mark on that one. I'm surprised the game even mentioned it. Um... Do me a favor. So one thing the game also doesn't say, and becomes increasingly annoying, we'll practice it eventually. You could technically throw diagonal in this game. They never removed it, so I'm assuming it's intended. So see how I'm like, there's like a brief delay where the cursor kind of zips between like two different points. If I hit the throw while it's traveling in between, I do actually throw over there. Just FYI. I don't really need it right this moment, though. Uh... I don't think this really matters. I'm just gonna end turn. Fortunately, we're so strong, we should just basically bully everything from existence. Oh, does it not have character jump in Disgaea 1? Oh, that's horrible. So, I think they added this in the complete version, since this is something that's in the later Disgaeas. Normally hitting, like, the shoulder buttons will zip you to the nearest ally, or, like, the base panels. But apparently, uh, the PC version doesn't have that. That's awkward. I went to go hit it, and I'm like, wait a minute, nothing happened. How unfortunate. Oh, well. Quality of life will exist in the later games, I suppose. Yeah, you can see we're slowly building up the weapon proficiency. I'll showcase the fact that proficiency does something if we take a look at our weapon and unequip it. We're level 3 right now. Okay, that's good to know. So anyway, we don't really need our allies in the tutorial. We'll take the bonus hell. That's actually good for us. Ooh, Geo effects. Are you ready for me to ignore whatever the game is about to tell me? I think we'll uh, start it, I guess. Let's get a tutorial. Geo panels, interesting. These are geographical features that are attuned to the elements of the universe. Crystallization of those elements results in geo symbols, like the one right here. Well, that doesn't explain anything, so let me clarify a few things. Tutorial Geo Effects. Let me explain Geo Effects, a system which will heavily influence battle. Take a good look at the colored panels in the area map. Notice that enemy boost plus 50% is displayed on the top of the screen. Yeah, that's also why I put the chat in the upper right for the most part. I remember the panel stuff being in the upper left. This means that when an enemy is on a blue panel, his or her attack will be and defense will be powered up by 50%. Wow, look at the game explaining what boost does, chat. But interestingly, it doesn't say intelligence, so spellcasters get screwed, I guess, outside of defense. This is not good for you, so it's wise to get rid of this effect. I'd be wondering, where does it come from in the first place? <laughs> We're like one tile from the answer, Edna, come on. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Why, looky here! I just found an object labeled enemy boost on this blue panel. As chat can probably figure out, there's only really three major types of uh, spell damage in this game. So if I see an enemy's weak to fire, I can just use fire magic to kill them. It just tells me basically their weaknesses and resists. It does what you think it does. This guy's the culprit. How obvious was that? This object is called a geo symbol. As long as it's on a colored panel, all panels of the same color will be affected. Let's toss it somewhere. Welcome to the puzzle element of the game, potentially. Look at us go, chat. 
Hello, Rogue Nine. Hope you're doing well. The effect enemy boost is no longer on any of the blue panels, but... Huh? The Geo symbol is now affecting the red panels. That doesn't change much. Hmm. Let's just destroy it then. Oh, before we do that, do you see to blue displayed in the Geo symbol status window? Remember that. Now it's time to attack. Go ahead, Prince. Conveniently, we stand on the thing that's about to hurt us. Huh? The red panels are now blue. Remember, to blue in the status window? This is what it was referring to. Destroying a blue symbol will turn all the panels. If you're the same color as the one it was on, blue. Damage will be dealt to anyone standing on one of those panels at a time. Be sure to take that into consideration. No damage will be dealt if you destroy a blue symbol on a blue panel. No panels will change color either. Build up your bonus gauge by changing the color of the geo panels. If you're able to use what you've learned to destroy all the geo panels, then you'll receive a panel termination bonus. All this relates to a term I used before, geo effects. That's pretty complicated. You're right, it is. Might be a good idea to start off by destroying only the harmful geo symbols. Still finding all the panels is for experts who understand the concept of geo effects completely, and you're not one of them. Damn, we got called out. What'd you say? Not all geo symbols have negative effects. When you get the chance, you should try to take advantage of the useful ones. Lastly, press the back button to turn on the geo handle display on slash off. Uh, I, I don't think there's a reason to ever turn that off, but cool. Hmm. So, if we look at the panels here, we could see that we could turn red to blue. Then blue, because remember, red will turn to blue, will now become yellow. And that means that the clear symbol will also be destroyed. So, when I'm ready, I could kill my whole party by just standing them on these different platforms. <laughs> That that's my takeaway, chat. Like we talked about all those things, but yeah, we're we're gonna be killing them. So we'll take advantage of that in a little bit. Oh, I can actually make it this full distance. So you can see I could get bonus experience and money if they die on a red tile. So I might as well just move over here for this. We'll leave the animation on for now. Oh, in this case we go back to our original position. That's fine. So anyway, we're going to take advantage of this bonus experience and bonus money. Actually, I probably could just end a turn. It's time to start killing our party members, chat. I'm gonna put you here. I could technically attack it here and be safe, but I kind of want them to die. Don't. She's only got 15 health. Will that actually kill her? I don't know. And for safety reasons, I'll just put a pretty over here. So anyway, chat, what could go wrong? So she's got a spear, so she hits two away. If it doesn't die from that, I'll just do this. So as I said before, red should go blue. Then, because this will get hit, this will kill this instantly. So blue will become yellow. And since this is blue, this should null the field. So let's end turn. There we go. Nice little chain going there. Linear is playable in this version, the PC version, and I think the complete version of the game as well. So let's see, chat. Although I do recommend getting the complete version over this one, to be honest. They added a lot of quality of life changes. 
perfect. We're gonna kill off our other party members, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Goodbye, Etna. Give her the salute, chat. <laughs> the purge. <laughs> All right, we didn't kill ourselves, which is important. Why, yes, I do. I did earn this bonus gauge. Let's see what we got out of it. Wristband, scratch claw, rock fist, rock fist, experience, short sword. Yeah, we don't care about any of that. Hmm. I'm starting to get the hang of things again. Okay, then. Are you ready to request some allies at the Dark Assembly? Oh, we're gonna be here a while, chat. There, you get to create characters who will become your loyal pupils. Um, chat, I'm gonna break your heart early. I'm not gonna be making many characters. Uh, but I think the characters I will make are gonna be absolutely terrible. <laughs> so, chat, come up with your most creative names for fodder, because, like... At least the first eight or so characters. Does that count as an ally kill for the ending? It does not. The only thing that actually counts are attacks and specials that hit a character. Geoprism deaths, printy explosions, throwing printies, and other indirect means like making them stand on damage tiles does not count. Oh yeah, you chat, we're gonna need a lot of names for our, our lift and throw bait people. Loyal pupils. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. All right, let's go. Tutorial, The Dark Assembly. Welcome to The Dark Assembly. Here you can create characters as well as submit proposals. In order to submit proposals, you have to have energy known as mana, which is why also I gave it all to one character. Yeah, if you if you didn't know this going into it, it gets kind of annoying because you really should focus your mana onto one character or else you can't pass things. So that, it actually just makes you weaker to use a full party. You gain mana by defeating enemies. If you want, you could use the mana you have right now to make a new character. Oh, don't worry about that. We're going to be making quite a few. A cleric might be useful for healing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using the cleric. Well, warrior brawler might come in handy when attacking. Uh, we're going to be making a lot of brawlers, but I don't think for the reason the game wants me to use them. Prince Laharl makes the characters. They'll become his loyal pupils. Manage their growth carefully. Yeah, so one thing that becomes more of a thing in the later games... Right now, it's like, if you make them, there's not a huge benefit. Later Disgaea games basically have the concept of, like, the Master Pupil system. So if I make them with the protagonist, they can basically share abilities up to the teacher. Or the teacher can share their abilities downwards, I think. And also, there's, like, other inherent bonuses, depending on the game that you play. But unfortunately, that doesn't really exist in Disgaea 1, for the most part. So speaking of which... Oh, look at that, chat. We killed them all off. We did it. Hey, Melissa leveled. Good job, Melissa. You you eat that experience. <laughs> Meanwhile, Etna and Planeer are just straight up dead. We murdered them outright, chat. Uh, we can prove it didn't go towards the ally kill count by going here. This isn't save record. I'll one day menu to the right thing. So it says fr friendly killed current is zero. So that's all you need to know, chat. I haven't gotten any friendly, friendly fire kills yet, even though I very purposely killed them just now. So just, just sh don't tell the game. <laughs> what would you like to do? Let's do the tutorial. What would you like to learn about? Oh, never mind. No, chat, we're not gonna worry about this. That, that, that's a little too many tutorials. I thought it was just a little short thing. No, thank you. So anyway, we have 16 mana. <laughs> I have no friends, kills whole party, yeah. So you can see people... Interestingly, it says I can create characters without using mana. I'm surprised it gives me that option. And so, Oh, I guess I guess because it technically shows the option, but the reason these are selectable and they're not is because they're dead. Yeah, if you're dead, you can't go to the assembly. How's Planar anyway? We're not really going to use her. Sadly, she's actually decent. It's just there's no point to using her in the playthrough. Oh, we can rename Laharl. Oh. Chat, did you want to rename Laharl? <laughs> what? Just, just think about it. But we're we're gonna create some characters. So yeah, I'll go through all the characters. We'll we'll describe them, and then we're only gonna get one for the moment. Humanoid, high HP and attack, good with fists. So we have the male and female brawlers. The only difference between them are the females are better at spears, and the males have slightly better intelligence. 
which is actually not good, honestly. The females are just clearly better, but we'll be making the male brawler because I don't really care. I, I want them to die easier. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Humanoid high attack and speed, good with swords. You can have your sword or axe user here. You can see their aptitude is kind of bad though. Like 60% for SP, so characters... So these characters using sword is kind of rough because you can't really boost your SP with items that well. The females have better resistance and better intelligence. However, instead of having access to axe, they have access to spear. I think in my normal playthrough, when I did this off stream a long, long time ago, I think I did axe on the male, spear on the female. We will be making some of the uh, mages. I don't think it matters which one that I use. Uses fire magic, wind, ice. So if we want to unlock more classes, we have to level these characters. Uh, spoilers, I'm not really going to level these characters. Cleric uses curative magic, good with staves. Unfortunately, in the base version of the game, and I think also the PC version, but not the complete version, using heal magic doesn't give you experience. I believe the complete version fixed that, because that's what they do in all versions going forward. So clerics are surprisingly annoying to level. I would just let you know. So this is allegedly a fairy. A hobbit. Loves to play pranks. Spirit, your friendly neighborhood ghost. That's all we have for now. I think I just need some fodder. She's in the DS version as well. I'll take her word for it. I I've never played the DS stuff. So we need a whole bunch of good for nothings. And you can see, depending on how good they are, we need approval. No, we, we want some garbage characters, chat. Dead, she is dead, yeah. So, chat, we need to name a lot of cannon fodder. So feel free to throw out names. We have like eight or so characters I'm gonna make, maybe nine. I at some point want to make a couple of mages, but I might hold off until later. I'll get an opportunity later. I wanna I'm gonna kinda scrounge my mana, so I think I'm gonna go for probably eight or so. Gonna die. That's a good one. As I said before, we're gonna need a lot of names. I could technically let it RNG the names, but they're not really that funny. And because he's gonna die, chat, the thing you should always take away when you're making cannon fodder is obviously their health. You volunteers tribute. Well, you can name if you want to be named after the cannon fodder. I'll be like by all means. The only other characters we're gonna make in the playthrough, I think, are red mages. That's it. I think that's the only other class we're gonna make for the entirety of the run. I can't think of a reason to use another character. Yeah, I think only red mages. Anyway, gonna dies here. We'll put Rogue Nine as a as a volunteer. So you're now immortalized. You you got a one person buffer to not die. But yeah, the, the person first on the list is gonna die all the time. There you go. Goodbye your health total. You'll go for the great cause. As you can see, they're good at fists and garbage and everything else. So anyway, we're gonna make a whole bunch of cannon fodder. Uh, let's do Eviscerated. If these characters get a kill, it'd be a miracle. There we go. We got Eviscerated. Hmm. Still gotta make a lot of characters. The reason we need at least eight, by the way, chat, is... And there's no reason to go, like, too much higher than eight. Unless I really think I'm only going to use one other character. So the most I will make is nine, but I need eight for throwing. Hit here. Oh, there we go. We'll, we'll start with hit me. I was reminded of Yakuza when chat said that. I got thrown off. So we need our, our cannon fodder throwers. Oh, dead man's a good target's a good one. Dead man's a good one. I think we'll use both of those. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Mr. Shakedown. Okay, now now we're going full Yakuza. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to make three more. I could make a fourth one, technically. But actually, I already have Planeer. Maybe I don't need to do that. So I think the one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll just make three, actually. Because if I need to chuck, I can also just use Etna. Yeah, the reason why these characters are important, too, is they have movement six, which is somewhat relevant. Red, well, red shirt's a good one. We'll do dead man into red shirt. Oops. But oh yeah, we're gonna be uh, doing some cheese for sure. Alright, we want them to die as often as possible, so we're gonna pick characters with absolutely garbage defense. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll make two more. I was on the fence if I wanted nine, and I'm like, uh, I could technically use Planeer if I really need it. Etna can make it Etna can also be number nine as well. Alright, let's do red shirt. Under by six feet, oh no. Just like looking at the list of our names. Three, six, seven, so we need one more. Do six feet. Can I do spaces? Can. You gotta get excited. Alright, okay, so we have six feet under. <laughs> there we go. We got a whole bunch of uh, sacrificial lambs. They, they're gonna die so often in this playthrough chat. Especially gonna die. Gonna die is gonna be the most common death, I think. What is no grinding, not re-entering a stage? Yeah, I'm planning just to go story mode only, with the exception of when you were literally forced to leave story mode and not go back at any point. I think it's doable, but it requires a lot of pre-planning. So I'm gonna take it slow. John, did you want to rename any of the major characters? <laughs> Since apparently we could just change our names. Oh no no no, you can rename oh you can rename these characters. We will address the assembly. Oh, that's not who I thought you could rename. Oh, I thought we could rename Laharl. Put his name back. Not what I thought it was. Well, anyway, I guess if you want to rename the NPCs, just let me know. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. So if you want to be named after major NPCs, by all means, they're the only characters that are guaranteed not to die in the playthrough. <laughs> yeah, so one thing you might be noticing, I'm going to move the chat over briefly so you can see a little better. So on the far right, there's something called Participants and in Influence. So certain things we have we can pass here require us to basically go in front of a council. And if the influence is high enough, as in like, if a bill requires 100 mana, we need 100 influence more or less to run it, is what I recall. Uh, we could go before the panel, and we can literally go up and bribe people before the vote begins. Or if we fail the vote, we could kill them. <laughs> so expect us to be brute forcing a few bills in the near future. The most important thing we could do is the promotion exam, which will unlock more options for us. This is not a thing that really exists in the later games, since I think they realize that uh, doing a test every time you want to rank up is quite something. So we'll, we'll come back to this in a little bit. Alright, we gotta do the important things. I guess I could leave her with the gun, it doesn't really matter. Uh... Do I want her with the spear? I'm just thinking ahead. I don't think I technically need it. Yes, I don't think I need to keep it. I'll keep the gun if I'm really concerned, because the gun will do more damage than the spear does anyway. 
let's talk to you. Hey, Prince, have you gone to the hospital? To make sure you heal everybody after a battle. Treatment may not be free. It costs hell. But please heal us too, dude. Gave you 300 hell. That's the most important thing we can have right there, chat. Getting everything we need right there. Uh, so let's sell off the junk that we don't need. Oh, look at that. We could have had good brawler gear. Oh, well. Right, chat? Oh, well. Don't need any of this. We have a spare Imperial Seal, in case I really need emergency money. So thank you, thank you Disgaea PC for giving that to me. The question is, do I want to put it on now or a little later from now? I guess I could try putting it on now. So most importantly, you'll see that it adds SP and HP. It also adds a lot of defense because it has a uh, sentry on it. So this should make us basically invincible. I don't know if that counts as, like, quote-unquote cheating. The game technically gave me the character. Whatever. Forgot that there is two different menus in this game. So basically, we can only have so many items in our active inventory, and that's the inventory we can use to consume items uh, while we're in the battlefield. Or if we want to switch gear, we can hold on to some alternate weapons. For the most part, it's not really necessary. Oh, okay, I didn't see the left-right. I'm blind. I I had my notes up while we were playing, and I was like, oops, I didn't see it. So yeah, we'll, we'll be saving up a lot of money. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we need to do. Did any other dialogue change? I'm just curious. I'm only gonna check a chapter if it doesn't change. I don't see anything new. So I think when we go to, like, another... I think they're called episodes, excuse me. When we go to another episode, we'll re-talk to these people. But for now, I think we'll proceed further. So. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. <laughs> that would have been bad. So we could just do a quick little heal-all. Didn't get any prizes yet. You'll see at the bottom, DEC is for deceased. So based off the number of times we kill the character, it'll be down there. So hey, we're on our way. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I actually do need to get an item soonish. So if I lose enough HP ups, I believe the first item you get is a muscle brawn. And if I have five character deaths and I recover an okay amount of SP and HP, I can actually get something known as the Imperial Seal, which we're already using. So, having three of those would be hilarious, because that would let us basically cruise through the beginning stuff. I add Vyra's castle to the list of available areas. It's fairly new, so I do not know much about it. However, it's rumored that a very able man lives there. Mint gum seems very much like chocolate. Yeah, it does look like it from the graphic perspective. Hmm, what you gonna do, Prince? Should we take a peek? Definitely. I'll slaughter the master of the castle as the first step to becoming the overlord. Alright, so we're finally out of the tutorial. Let's go see Magnificent Gate. Oh. There's no story. You can see, however, they're on enemy boost times three, which would be very bad for us. Oh, this is, this is going to be a good opportunity to kill our party off. Give me one second, chat. I'm going to go get a drink. And when I come back, I'm going to think about this. So what I want to do is essentially come over here with Etna, right? And throw this here. But the question is, how do I kill our party in an efficient manner? <laughs> I need to think about this. So we have three printies. I need to throw one of them. I'll think about it. Give me give me one second. I gotta get a drink anyway. So, chat, you could question yourself, how would you have killed the party? <laughs> As we take a brief little detour. Be right back.
Okay, chat, sorry about that. Just like that, we're playing Trapped again, how do we kill us all? Pretty much. Sorry about that. I realized I left my drink downstairs. So... We're gonna be in a very interesting scenario. So I was thinking about it. I think essentially what I want to do... Is let's put our first printies here so they can move this as far over as I can move. So let's do this. Do we need to put at least two of them here? So remember, printies explode when they're thrown. Sorry, gonna die. You're gonna be the one that gets ultra killed. <laughs> right, Chad? It's gonna be brutal. Oh boy, we're gonna get some massive chain reactions here. I'm assuming I could just put them on either side of the printy and they should die. We'll find out, though. But he's gonna definitely die. Hmm. The question is, how many people do I need to die? I don't think that many. I could get an extra kill in here, though. Getting extra deaths doesn't matter too much, other than I lose, like, a little bit of cash. I'll probably do something like this. I have to be careful because I need the protagonist out. So we don't get to use up all of our characters. Because I used Etna earlier. That's three, six, seven character deaths. I just have Lahara walk up when I'm ready. Hmm. Now we just need the last printing. I think this should work. Actually, maybe it would make more sense if this person was here. Yeah, because then I could just do this. This might make more sense. Less movement. Okay. So, I think this should be an absolute chain reaction of death, if I remember correctly. So remember, chat, when you throw printies, they explode. That was a good party wipe. See, we wound them enough that we should get a pretty easy clear here. I think later games you could skip the Geo panel effects, but for now we're gonna watch. Look at that chat. What a good clear. We did it. We're gonna remove our only surviving character over. Yeah, the reason we might want more throw characters in the future is due to, like, multiple stages back-to-back. -back. So, for example, if I kill off eight characters on one floor, I'm gonna need other people on other floors. So there technically is a benefit to having more characters. Yeah, la in later games you could skip the animation altogether, it's basically instant. I think the complete version of the game also has a speed-up option. Yeah, we're, we're essentially immortal. Like, there's very little they could do to stop us. Uh, the question is, do I want to bother with any spells? I don't think I do. I think we'll just move into range here. Look at this go, chat. Bonk. All glove, don't care about that, don't care about that. Iron Lance is unfortunate. Common Orb is actually useful. We might use that as a junk item. Hmm. Dare I just go into the next stage? I think I do. I don't really need them for anything from what I remember here. So I guess we'll just proceed further. This is a pretty nice place. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I 
can't disgrace the name of the Overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and... what? Plunder everything! There you go, chat. Oh, that's our prince! You're so ruthless! Hey there, you atrocious fiend! You cold-blooded monster! <laughs> A demon among demons! Quit complimenting me so much. It's embarrassing. Huh? Why did my controller stop taking inputs? That's not good. Hello? Controller? Now listen up. I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle. Aye, aye, dude. There we go. That was scary. I was like, oh boy, learning keyboard controls on the fly would not be fun. <laughs> aye, aye, dude, chat. That is what a laugh. So I think... We're just gonna stand in the corner and murder everything. We should be so strong right now that nothing should really kill us at all. Oh, especially after that level up. GG. They have no chance of killing us. Look at this chat. Even with their combo, they did one damage. And then they die. Um... I guess there's no downside to luring them over here at some point. I eventually want to stand here and get extra attacks, so I might as well start moving my way over here. There we go, chat. Defense up, attack plus one. Nod your head, it's over. <laughs> they already can't injure us, it's over. They're trying, though. It's cute that they're trying, I guess. So remember, chat, every time I swing, my proficiency goes up. Oh, look at that, chat. We unlock stuff via leveling. Laharl special charges into enemies' fire damage, and we have Hurricane Slash, a classic one. I believe in other games, it counts as wind damage. I think in this one, it just counts as normal physical. So we can see in parentheses is the type of damage it does. So if we see an enemy's weak to fire, we could do it. In theory, we could also Blazing Knuckle to kill everything that's near us now. I guess the question is whether or not I want to use it. Yeah, let's just use it. So if we put Axe on Laharl... The fact that Laharl naturally gets long-range attacks actually kind of benefits Axe pretty well. However, since we're doing basically solo Laharl, I'm going to need his ability to hit multiple enemies early on. So I'd rather keep Blade Rush for now. So I'll just go ahead and murderize this guy. Look at us go, chat. They did try. They can't touch the godliness of our character right now. Go ahead, take a swing at me. Go ahead and do zero. Oh, you did one. Congratulations. Now perish. Your reward is death. Ooh, bonus money is actually a really good pickup for us. I care more about money ups than anything else, chat. I'm gonna let you know. Um... I guess I got enough to hopefully get an item. Let's see, Chad. Did I take enough damage? Ooh, we did. We got Muscle Brawn. I don't think I used enough SP, though. Interesting. So as you can see, if you repeatedly go in and out of places, you can technically change what the rewards are. So if I want to manipulate it a little more, I could change it. I'm gonna reset it a couple times. Technically, we can also get a rare item from this. Uh, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. 
So I think I needed to do one more one more attack. That's fine. We'll learn for the future. I'm looking to see if we could get a broker or something. If we can't get it here, it doesn't really matter. Oh, speaking of which, that is exactly what I was looking for. So we're basically only going to care about a couple things in this game, and they're going to be brokers and managers because they give me extra money and extra uh, mana, and having those is more important to me than anything else. We're going to go ahead and equip the muscle brawn on us right now. Interesting this only gives 7 SP. I guess I don't really need to equip it over the other thing. Although what I could do... I could do this. Oops. So if I unequip stuff and then re-equip stuff, I could just heal myself more. There we go. There's the common orb I was expecting to get earlier. Okay. So we're we're back on track of where I thought we would be. Another broker. Hmm. Maybe? It doesn't hurt to get, I guess. So, uh ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess we'll. Oh, never mind. Our money total is way too low. Oh, no. What I was thinking there is like, let's go purchase an upgrade. I'm like, no, we're hilariously too low. So just to showcase the chat. We're going to go back here. We're going to ask the game how many ally kills we got. Ooh, that counted as an ally kill. Ooh, the wiki's wrong. Oh, no, chat. I have to reset. Well, that's okay. There you go, chat. You can chalk that one up. The wiki is wrong. I guess the pretty explosions count, even though that they, de they definitely say they don't count online. So thank you, online sources. Uh, well, the the run is going to be very interesting. I can't get the true ending right now. So I guess what we could do. I would like to continue the playthrough. <sighs> That's so annoying, chat. <laughs> When you go to search something online and you read it and it's wrong, that's actually a problem. Yeah, that's a big problem. So we locked ourselves out of the, the true ending. There is something I could go reach. Okay. So geo panels still don't count, but throwing printies does, which is annoying. So I'm going to have to be more creative, I guess, with how I kill them. Let's proceed with the story for now and reset it. Alright, so right now, I don't think it matters what I do. I just need to clear the stage. Um, This gives a lot of health recovery here. Yeah, that really sucks, chat. I got Chrono Crossed again, where the information is just straight up wrong. So it, it counted... Actually, why did it kill... Why did it only count six? So if you remember, we killed nine people... Maybe because you use the printy to kill, kill an ally? Maybe, but that... Because I, I guess it had to have been, like, the collateral damage from it. So I think the one that got chucked didn't count. And I think the furthest of them didn't count or something like that. Because you have to think about it. When I threw them... They, I didn't hit all of them with the explosion, so I guess it does count even though... Okay, whatever. The printy you throw doesn't count, I think is going towards that count. And I think Edna technically survived the initial explosion, which is why she didn't count, maybe? I'm not sure who didn't count in that chain of events. But anyway, um... Doesn't really matter now, I don't think. Unfortunate. Yeah, that'll complicate things. Because the other way I could kill people in mass is on this stage. Which is super, super unfortunate, as I said before. I was lied to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I was going to build up a ton of proficiency here. Because there's, like, no way they can physically kill me through this. 
Oh, they actually do surprisingly high damage. I mean, too bad I recover 47. Oh well, we'll have to reset. But I can also check one more thing. I was not planning on doing this until later. I guess we'll go for the bad ending first. I was planning on having a normal save file and then saving elsewhere. So sad, Chan. Um, yeah, I think this should be fine. Oh, I forgot it doesn't like doing that. Oh, maybe you can't skip the animations by default in Disgaea 1. That's unfortunate. I think you can normally hold R2 to skip animations. Unfortunate. Oh well, we're learning. Quality of life features not in this version of the game. Bad ending is better anyway. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll see a pretty funny ending. The requirements for the bad ending are simple. I have to die in the next stage. That is so annoying, though. I, I definitely regret uh, saving right before checking. Because I could have easily undone the other stage. But oh well. Hindsight is everything. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and dunk him real quick. Now, when we start a new playthrough, is there are the game is intended to be beaten multiple times. I think this is all I need to do. Yeah, let's let's go get the. I'll save the game just in case, but I'll go get the band ending right now. Yeah, so unfortunate. Because there's no way to undo this, sadly, with where we are. Oh well. I do want the true ending. So, we'll, I'll keep the save file for later. It's not a total waste of time, because I need to get a lot of character deaths. So we'll worry about that later. We'll play through the story normally, and then we'll skip all the cutscenes. On the way back. Is this the last room? Yeah, that's good to know early on. <laughs> Who's there? How rude! Invading a man's house and asking him who's there? But I give you credit for your bravery. Ha! Voila! Forgive moi, I must leave you in awe. My name is Vyers. I am the lord of this castle. Vyers? Isn't he the demon that's been knocking off competition for the throne? We. Oui. That is correct, mademoiselle. I am an aristocrat with both strength and beauty. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Young man, I assume that you are the son of the late King Kratesko, are you not? That's right. I'm Laharl, the heir to the throne. The heir to the throne? Ha! <laughs> that is history, dear boy. Your existence has long been forgotten. Everyone in this game is severely malnourished, definitely. Are you blind to the horde of demons lining up to fight for the throne? So, I'm the heir. That's all that matters. If they've forgotten, then I'll just have to make them remember. I see. So you saw my potential and decided to strike first against more? Such wonderful intuition. Well played, son of Krzyzewskoy. I've never even heard of you. It's only a coincidence that we're here. You're just a tiny stepping stone on my path to the throne. <gasps> How dare you? I am the Dark Adonis, my... Who gives a damn about you? Your new name is Midboss. Mid-Mid-Midboss? Looks like you hurt his pride, Prince. Unforgivable! That is unforgivable! There we go, chat. We renamed a mid-boss. So, band ending number one. Chat, we have to die. I 
I guess I could do something like... Maybe creative in how we're gonna game over. Oh well. We had such a good run, but the run is now over. So I'm gonna have to rethink some things. Something like... Oops, not the order I wanted to do that in. Hmm. Unless I put them further forward, we should be good. We're gonna say goodbye to the squad. This should work. Huh? I have won! <laughs> this is not as I expected, but I am simply too strong. I am simply too beautiful. Oh, how sinful it is. They will eventually rise again to face the challenge, but in the meantime... Oh, flowers! Oh, trees! Oh, grass! Come celebrate my strength! Let the music begin! There you go, champ. We got the credits. Game's over. <laughs> Bad ending. GG. Good run. I hope Chad enjoyed my creative way of game overing. So believe it or not, chat, this actually starts a new game cycle. So I think for the for the sake of uh, not <laughs> carrying this over, we'll we'll make another save to keep the save file in memory of the run that killed itself. But hopefully, going forward, our bad endings will not result in a total reset. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He has his own victory theme. Well, I know how to avoid the issue in the future. So there's also a mechanic the game didn't explain to us, but I know is true. So in the early Disgaea games, you were not allowed to capture human units by throwing them in your base. You can only capture monsters that way. So that means even a level one human character can kill our entire base panel. Which we're going to do instead of what I did earlier. I was hoping to save some time by just throwing the printy and deleting everybody. But yeah, we can, uh, we can kill them by throwing things that we shouldn't into the base panel. So it's okay, we have some, we have some backup strats. There we go, you, you did it mid-boss. I guess out of curiosity, I'll see if they did any quality of life in the new game plus. To see if you could skip the intro cutscenes. If you can't, I'm gonna be very sad. Because that will definitely reduce my urge to go play through a new game plus. Because there are a lot of cutscenes in this game. I can't believe they killed out the entire cast at the start. What a dark game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All dead. GG. So yeah, getting getting to 300 deaths will be interesting. I, I have some backup strats. I can obviously, when we get to later areas, it becomes easier and easier as they get one shot. We're almost at the point where that happens anyway. It's just at the beginning of the game, it would have been nice to have sped things up that way. So like pretty much from this location onwards, just putting out our level one characters should kill them. Although ironically, I think some of our characters did get experience, so they take longer to die. So yeah, I could probably do some combo attacks on the Geo panel to mix it up a little bit. But yeah, I do want to get the true ending, so I have to not kill them. Yeah, 
So fortunately, we could skip most of the tutorials. So if I skip the if I skip the story on on a replay through, regardless if it's New Game Plus, at least from that perspective, um, we won't have to sit through them explaining the action. So it should be fairly quick to get back to where we were. Again, we we're only like what four five levels in. It's not too bad. And it's tutorial stuff, so it's pretty pretty straightforward. I like how we're getting credits for characters we never saw. You can just ignore those for now. I, I wish the credits were actually shorter. It would have been pretty funny. <laughs> it's just like six things and it's over. Oh, we didn't get to Edna Boogie. We'll hear that eventually. What a beautiful life of mine. What a song. Yeah, we'll be hearing a couple of these depending on our endings. As you can see, there's quite a few different endings we could end up with. Oh, well. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, it's presumably going to ask me to save because this technically puts us in another New Game Plus cycle. But... I want to see if you can skip the intro cutscene. If you can't, I'm just going to quit out and we'll restart. I'm not going to make you sit through the intro more than once. Ideally. Because if you remember the whole them waking up Laharl, I don't know if that's skippable on a new cycle. So I'd rather know now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I would rather now. I would rather know now so that we could make extra certain. And I could do some other safety saves as we go through. I don't recall the name of the song that he sings. But anyway, there we go. Credits attained. Bin. So we're going to create a new save file. The Curiosity. And we skip this. King Kridrevsko, Ooh, you the can. mighty ruler of the netherworld. Okay. That's unfortunate. I think other versions of the game do allow you to do it. So we're going we're gonna to kill it there. And we're going to redo it. Good to know. <laughs> right, chat? Good to know. Yeah, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. I will say the console versions have been updated, I think, as of, like, 2020. To allow you to skip that cutscene, by the way. King Kridrevsko, well, if you missed the intro, the mighty ruler of the netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the dark land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, At least I could sort of go through this a little quicker. Oh well. This well, if that's the case, there's only one. What fool dares awaken me? Oh, Prince, I'm glad. Who said I was? Anyways. Unfortunately, there weren't too many story cutscenes. This was probably the longest one. Are you sure you weren't? <laughs> I'll also make sure we hit the switches again. What? You better have a. Oh yeah. Then we'll proceed further. You're... Hey, what? Two years ago. Wait a sec. Yeah. Unfortunately, they should have probably added some quality of life to the PC version, which we'll talk about definitely in the review, so we don't have to sit through stuff like this. Hopefully, Disgaea 2 has some of those. 
I think the game already had some of it by default. Like, Disgaea 2 is where you first start to get your animation skips. I don't know if they've added more to that or not. We'll do some research when we go to that game, or if we go to that game. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. Anyway, take two. On the plus side, not too much for it that we need to do here. So I bought an unopened soda, and I just need to get another sword. The reason I want the soda is that it gives me SP. See it. Try again. You won't see me getting armor for the most part. Ooh, we got lucky the first time. Kind of unlucky. Oof. Are we really not gonna get it? There it is. Um... I think that's more important. And we need an okay... I think it was Sword Breaker. Then we'll move forward. Ooh, we are getting unlucky. <laughs> I have to actually reset the shop? Wow. Unlucky. Well, at least this one's pretty good. It's got 16 attack. Hmm. Take that off of her. I could technically do this and then take this off in order to heal. Just to make sure I get more SP. Because last time I didn't... Oh, I forgot to put it back on. Last time I was off by just like a little bit. So I'm gonna do this to just skip it forward a little more. Oh, we actually can't heal the fool. We don't have enough money. That's interesting. Not that this really matters. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so we're gonna save over this save file at the top. We could keep the other ones as memories. We'll also have to rename the characters, sadly. So we'll make sure we'll do Rogue Nine. I don't remember most of the names we used. I wasn't expecting to have to memorize them. That's fun. Ooh, I one-shot. That might be too strong. As you saw before, I ended up getting Hurricane Slash, which is what I do need for the boss. Maybe this is still fine. Alright, that's good. Now we should get an extra attack. Stage clear. Bonus XP. I guess that's okay. At least you can always, by default, skip the tutorial stories. Just I can't skip the in-between stuff that well. Um... Actually, I don't know if this matters. Let's just let them attack us. Worst thing that happens is we have other characters that can help out. This will cause us to be more injured, which is good. Ooh, that double strike there was actually huge. Did I learn Blade Rush yet? I did. Perfect. See, now, now we can play a little more risky, now that I'm starting to see how much damage we're doing compared to everything else. More bonus XP. That's not great. I'm not gonna lie, that's... ideal. Hmm... I'm just going to do that preemptively.
I would like some items to sell. I actually don't really want experience. Since we get more experience from, like, these kinds of things. I guess I could tell him to defend. That would help. Ooh, we got no counterattacks there. That's kind of bad also. Man, our RNG was so good on the first run. Now it's kind of terrible. Okay, at least we got a kill. That's what matters. Oh, because I stood on the wrong tile. Um, Will that matter? I think it does matter. I might be... No, I'm not going to be down mana, but I got to be careful here. I do need to make sure the fairy dies. That's the only thing that has to die. Perfect. Hi. I did the I did the stage better the first time, sadly, but whatever. Um I'm going to move over here. I don't want to accidentally pull the other character. But I need to make sure we get the kill here. There we go. So we're going to be down a little bit of cash because I got one kill off that tile. Um, these characters need to die. Do you remember last time that red becomes blue? We can also have her stand there just to ensure that it dies. Do something like this. Since we're more injured than before, I'm actually going to move the character over here. So we would lose XP if I die. Yeah, let's not risk it, actually. There we go. Goodbye, our loyal pawns. I guess I could have killed the Prinnies here, but I don't think it matters too, too much. I, I can make up kills in later stages. The goal is to have five deaths. <laughs> That's basically what I'm getting at. So I could just get three more on a different stage. I'm gonna be honest, Calvisham, I don't know anything about that song, so that does not mean anything to me. Oh, we got two money ups. Oh, that's not too bad. Alright, so fortunately we're almost back to where we were before, so let's go create some characters. check that nothing weird happened. Roll my eyes is sitting through the dialogue. There we go. Nothing weird happened. Okay, so now let's make some progress. Huh? Why did it... Why did it move my save file? Disgaea, don't do that, please. You saw that, right? It put my full clear one at the top, but that's not how I saved it earlier. What? Oh, I'm definitely going to overwrite that save file. This guy is doing weird things, chat. I don't know why it moved that. Oh, see, yeah, I got one less mana. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, I should still be able to make eight characters. But nothing really changes here. I think their levels can be, like, a little variable, and that's why that happened. Hmm. I think we are gonna die, from what I remember last time. And we had... Rogue Nine.
After that, I don't remember the order. Let's see, it was... Red Shirt was one of the last ones. There was Hit Me in there. I think Eviscerated was first. But if chat wants any other names, let me know. I'm just trying to come up with the names again on the fly. Target was one of them. Or Hit Me was first, I think. Let's take a make it capitals. go through there again. One, two, one, two, three, four. I need four more. Mid target. Three more. We have red shirt. Six feet under. Who was the last person? <laughs> I don't remember who the last person was. I managed to remember most of the names, surprisingly, even though we barely used them. Uh... Guess I could put Red Shirt first. I'll spell their name a little different. I'll, I'll make him Red Shirt the second. Love our random named Renee's. Uh, something other than six feet under. Um, redder shirt. I'm gonna call this one gonna bite it. That one's a classic one I use in other games. And we'll do six feet under. There we go. We're almost all the way back to where we were earlier. And you gotta add exclamation marks for emphasis. Okay. So we need these characters to die. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, I'm gonna rename one of the characters. There we go. That's an appropriate name. Gotta have Pretty Dude as one of our characters. I love how there's no Chi in this one of the names. Alright, so I'm down a mana, but that doesn't really matter in the long run. We're gonna get 300 money. It's gonna help us significantly. Then I can go ahead and unequip all of these characters. I could leave her with the gun. I guess there's no downside to this. I don't think it really matters. If I need money, I could just scrub it from them later. I definitely don't want to sell the Imperial Seal. That would be a mistake. I want to get rid of these, though. So, Imperial Seal is there for extra money, because I'm technically plus one from a normal playthrough. We need to save up for another sword, which is like 1,200 or so. And we need to get at least three more characters' deaths in a way that'll be interesting to us. Yeah, I might have to just save over this, honestly. Me needing to constantly menu downwards is driving me wild. I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. So how do I get our party killed in an interesting manner? What level are these monsters? See, the problem, like, right now, I can't kill them with the base. 
Because they're actually too weak. Let's see. We could have... Oh, I forgot to revive the other characters. I don't think that super matters. No, I don't think it matters. I'll, I'll need to revive them later, though. I'll have him do this. Then I can have our red shirts go in and take body blows. I think that makes the most sense. I can also have them just lift enemies so I can spare the protagonist some damage. Yeah, let's 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 get the hit squad going, chat. Here we go. We gotta be creative in our deaths. So I should be able to kill basically everybody. So as long as everybody here dies at some point, I should be fine. They're about to have a series of very unfortunate geo panel accidents. <laughs> right, chat? There we go. That should speed it up significantly. Ooh, combo attack. Give a salute, chat. They need to die for us. So we should get Imperial Seal now, if I need it. So we only need five, I believe, for the initial one. And that halves the number of attacks we have to take to kill off the party. And they'll be excellent decoys. As long as they don't get a kill, I don't really care. <laughs> right, chat? That's all that matters at the end of the day. And this is fine. They don't do enough damage to kill. Now that he's weakened, what we could do is lift. Do something like this. Make him a target. guy come in closer. He needs to get killed. Uh, can I get the kill here? Do something like this. Yeah, they're about to have a series of unfortunate accidents. Oh, the other guy actually lived. I think that's more of a plot twist for me than anything else. Right, chat? Wow. Please tell me I didn't hit my ally. I couldn't see him. I'm assuming he was dead. We'll double check at the end of this, though. That is also the downside when stuff like that happens. I'm like, I honestly couldn't tell. Perfect. So that should nearly kill him. The other guy should get crushed to death. So now I can lift this guy and come over here. Get a kill here. Over here. We got a range next time. I mean, the worst thing that happens is I gotta redo this stage a little bit. We should not target us if I come over here. So it should be GG. So I just need to move a little closer. I can reach him next turn, and that's it. Alright. We had to be more creative in how they die. But that should count. As long as I didn't hit him with the blade rush, we should be good. Otherwise, we just save before coming here. Stealing hand is interesting. We will be stealing equipment, potentially, if we do uh, bonus stuff. Okay, perfect. <laughs> right, Chad? I was like, 
I just wanted to make sure I didn't hit the guy with the blade rush. I think the game warns you, but I normally don't read the menu because we're just, we need to go fast. I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't want to read every menu every time. Anyway, now we should be able to revive them. That is a lot of dead party members. Oh, we used more SP than last time, which is good. So we have 10 dead characters right now. That's kind of hilarious. So we need to use more SP. I think we need to use at least 50. So we're going to be burning it for sure very soon. I'm going to briefly see if we could get something better. Technically, you can up the rarity. So I'll move the chat briefly again. So technically, the C in the upper right for the item designates it's common. There's three rarities. I think it's like common, rare, and legend. I think you could get rares from the shop or from the hospital, but you can't get legendaries. I'm just resetting it a couple times. Just to see if we could get better. Higher fighter, no. Because I will be using the muscle brawn. If we don't get it, we don't get it. Yeah, I'll try like two more times and we'll move on. Uh, uh, not what I'm looking for. One more time. Right, I'll take whatever the next one is, regardless of what it is. Take defense. So we've now lost a lot of health, which is good. I could do this to also get more SP, so I think I'm just gonna immediately do this. Do we need to use, I think, another 12 or so? We're way ahead of where we should be with HP, which is great. So even though it was a slower method to get there, we got more damage across the board, which is good for us. So let's save for real, so I don't need to redo any of that again. I don't know why it keeps defaulting to the save spot, but whatever. As long as we have backups, I guess. Actually, a question. Alright, so I need to use more SP because I don't have a common orb. I'll, I just need the common orb eventually. It's not a deal breaker. If I'm if I still don't have it by the end of this area, I'll just repeatedly equip and unequip. It should be good. But anyway, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. So now our now our HP booster gives us defense. And you can see they are literally no longer injuring us, which is kind of funny. We're gonna do the same kind of movements we did before, nothing too tricky. So I could technically combine these two monsters together to make them a little stronger. And technically, if I want to do that, I want to throw, like, this level 1 one here. And because they're injured, they'll also have less health when they merge, but I don't think it really matters right now. I did get Blazing Knuckle, which is good. I do need that. Go ahead and stand on the defense ups. We do need to use more SP, so I'm going to go ahead and just end turn with Blazing Knuckle. So we're going to do two Blazing Knuckles, I think. And ideally by the end of this, we should get the Hurricane Slash, but we'll see. So we're going to burn out our SP if we can. How close are we to learning Hurricane Slash? we still got some time. Let's burn another SP. So that's 30 SP we should recover. This should put us pretty close. We're going to give the enemy a chance to hit us first. So I could build proficiency and then hit them with a skill. Oh, or we just kill them outright. That's also fine, I guess. So we're like a little under where I should be for proficiency, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to get a million chances to strike uh, the enemy that was recovering HP in the other stage. So if I don't have Hurricane Slash by then, that'll be my backup strat. Hurricane Slash is like a good boss damage move. 
And I need a certain level of proficiency when I go to upgrade people. Common glasses. I don't know if I like that. Okay, we're gonna use the nurse because I want to get more rewards here. Alright, so now common orb is here. We get it a little better. It's a master's. Try one more time. Yeah, master giving SP is straightforward. I'm looking more for the other ones. Teacher within would be useful if we were a mage. Resistance up. I think so. I'll try one more. I don't want this item to be upgraded too much. But I was kind of hoping for something more relevant, like HP. There's a broker. That's actually relevant. So I could get rid of Muscle Brawn if I want to. I probably do. I like that if we were to equip the gum, it thinks the healing amount is how much we gain. It's kind of funny. I think I'll do this. Just to get a little more SP. There we go. Okay. Let's continue. Now we need to kill off our whole party again. Shouldn't be too bad. Don't think I want to destroy the recovery orbs. Um... I guess I can have these guys as decoys. Uh... I guess it doesn't matter if I throw them over here or not. We'll slowly work at their health totals, I guess. Ooh, not strong enough to one-shot. Interesting. Nice. We even weaken them up a little. Or maybe not. So if we use her, we can throw her into the base. I think I'll just lift her for now. We'll summon some other characters that need to die. And if Chad is curious, we can really stall how long it takes for them to reach us. Form the almighty human tower. Should be good. This will be like a countdown clock. They should just all naturally die. This will be fun. Arise our human sandbags, pretty much. Right, so they're gonna combo him, which is fine. So the ghost in the middle there is not going to move, because he's just programmed not to. Oh no, Chad, it's Melchior! Let's lure these characters forward. Something like this. That should give us a lot of time. Now there's one less archer to deal with. Oh, <laughs> that was just rude. Alright, Chad, that was just actually rude. Look at them, look at them perishing. Um, I mean, I guess I could stand here and get the recovery fight going. There's one less archer hitting me, which is nice. Ooh, 
Ooh, we finally got Hurricane Slash. I'm gonna go ahead and skip animations for now, since I can't toggle it. Do this. There we go. That should lure a couple of them forward. Nice counterattack. Need to burn some more magic. Ooh, they're too high up for me to do. Although, funny enough, I could back them up slightly. The other guy getting healing here is a little annoying. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. We should be safe here. If she wants to poke at me, it shouldn't really matter. If anything, she's just making sure we have proficiency. How kind of her to ensure that we have proficiency. So anyway, if I was missing Hurricane Slash before, I could do that. Go ahead and Blade Rush. That did a lot of damage. So we need to do one more move's worth of SP. And I think we're good. Back to where we were. I can even just let him heal, just so I can hit him again. You know what? Let's let him heal. Right, chat? Like, I'm not in a rush. Burn all of our SP. So technically, we can also have thrown all the monsters into this monster to capture them. But as I said before, I don't want to do a lot of monster capturing. I'm an orb. Okay, so we would have gotten one here. That is a lot of dead characters. There's our Imperial Seal, but it came with like kind of a mediocre drop. Come on, you can do better. Really? Okay, maybe we can't do better. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, uh, hand resistance is okay. I'll take defense if it comes up again. A manager. Ooh. Interesting. So I believe this will make our issues a little easier. So as long as we have a manager, we basically get bonus mana. That's actually a pretty good pickup. We're going to be putting that on immediately. Then I'm going to unequip, unequip, resort. Go ahead and recure again, just so that we have more SP usage. If I need to sell items, I can. But yeah, now we have more mana on kills and we get more money. So that'll help if I want to do stuff to squeeze out more value. So common orb is okay. It does have our broker. We also have broker tan on a seal already, which is nice. For the most part, the uh, helpers do stack with some exceptions, which is kind of annoying. This guy is one who plays by its own rules. <laughs> Generally, all the stat ups will stack, but the ones that like boost money or boost mana, they don't stack, if I remember correctly. And there's also a different limit. Like, I think it's like 18,997. It's like a very arbitrary number, but it's uh, how much you can get like your stat ups to go. The other one's not so much. Right, so she's got a gun, she's got a spear. I'm gonna save one more time. Now we have to complete this next area, which is, like, decently hard, I guess. How many healing items do I have? I have three healing items, plus I have SP up. Okay. I could sell the egg at some point if I need it. We did randomly get Stealing Hand, which is hilarious. So I could steal equipment to get more money. But anyway, let's try this again for real. Um... Now 
Now the question is, Chad, how confident am I feeling in getting this diagonal throw? That wasn't too bad. I was, that was not a bad diagonal, Chad. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> See, that that's the closest we're going to come to exploits in our normal playthrough. We are definitely not intended to do that for chat clarity. So we're going to have to take our time. Something we weren't supposed to. Yeah, we definitely cannot leave them on enemy boost times six attack plus one. Mid boss is actually surprisingly strong. It counts as a monster, though, for some reason. Okay, we've now removed that. Now, fortunately, we are triple Imperial Seal, so we should be fairly tanky compared to where we would be normally. We can move a little closer. Uh... Question... Let's get rid of the mage. I can use Etna to heal me if I need to. Oh, the other guy's actually coming to us. He's approaching menacingly, Chan. I mean, I could just lift him up and make him a non-thread. Look at him politely coming towards us. What a nice individual. Although I need to be a little careful, I need to be saving some of our money. So I might not be able to revive her right away. If I do do that. I guess the question is, how much damage am I doing to him currently? That'll decide whether or not I have her die for the cause. <laughs> Only 36? Uh... How about you die for the cause? <laughs> Alright, chat. There we go. I don't think he should die from one hit. We'll see, though. He killed his own monster. That's awkward. There we go. There's the hurricane slash damage we needed. Alright, we got this in the bag. Oh, you want to punch me? Are there any fun bonuses? Oh, bonus experience? Hmm. I guess we could level the printies. I don't really need them for the rest of the playthrough. Let's give them some love, I guess. We'll, we'll level Rogue 9 randomly. Sure, we'll level Planeer. Definitely gonna Hurricane Slash this. Okay, I didn't need to heal, which is good. Look at them doing their little victory spins. Worth it. <laughs> I have underestimated your skill. I took you for but a child. But that was an error in judgment. I am too kind-hearted. This chat like that Vyre slash Dark Adonis got renamed mid-boss. Rogue Nine carried, exactly. Liar! You were serious just now. How pathetic. Nothing's worse than a sore loser. <sighs> what repulsive little brats you are! I shall come to return the favor, so do not forget moi! Alright. Let's collect the spoils and head home. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Master Etna ran away, which means... Dude, we're gonna have to carry all this? We're Master Etna's vassals, not the Prince's. Etna's vassals are my vassals. And my vassals do what I say. Now get to work! Now, now, it's only until next red moon, right? Big sis printy chat. I guess you're right, dude. I'll get to work. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. I see, but still, 
How did he survive after drinking that potion? If he fully recovers, this will become a difficult task. Yeah, we might play Mikaya Kingdom at some point, Calvisham. Although, funny enough, as this game got re-released in Disgaea 1, we'll be seeing references to other games at some point. So don't worry, chat, when we get to those or if we do those. They're just protagonists from other games in the, uh, the Maker's, I guess, library. I wish all the pretty sounded like Zeus from Gravity Falls. Maybe. Don't worry. If you leave it to me, the throne will be yours. Are you sure you can deliver on that promise? Yes. Remember, in exchange. I know. When I reign supreme as the Overlord, I shall return it to you. Dot 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 chat. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 1 Prince Another World End. Finally, the time has come for Prince Laharl to pay for all his evil deeds. Hey! Now, Etna will fulfill the late prince's wish and succeed him to the throne. I'm not dead. So long, Prince. Your humble vassal, Etna, will put your money and power to good use. You're one scary girl. Next on Hyperdimensional Demon Gal Etna, Episode 2, The Birth of Queen Etna. A new era of the netherworld begins. You're delusional. I apparently got some kind of achievement. Alright, let's save over this file. Celestia, world where beings known as angels live. Another world Celestia, the human world. Legend has it that these worlds are connected. Oh no, chat, it's Yggdrasil! No! We can never escape! It's always in every game. This is one of those such nexuses between the nether world and Celestia. I think this is normally supposed to be narrated. However, it is sealed by a gate constructed by the angels of ancient times. Did you send for me, Master Lamington? Oh no, chat. Cute angel. Yes, I did. Here, Flon. Have a look. The flowers are in full bloom. Serif, dot dot dots. <laughs> I love these flowers. They are simple yet so bright and lively. I want to be like these flowers. Flan, listen carefully to what I have to say. Yes? As Seraph, I have orders for you, Angel Trainee Flan. Go to the Netherworld and assassinate the Overlord King Krajewskoy. Well, that's going to be a difficult task to accomplish. Huh? Episode 2, Enter Flan. Well, I'm here, at the Overlord's Castle. I still wonder why the Seraph picked me, though. Master Volcanus would have been a much better choice. Not only that, but an assassination. What is the Seraph thinking? Master Lamington! Master Lamington, are you here? There you go, chat. Stern angel. Why all the ruckus, Volcanus? You scared the birds away. Who cares about the birds? I have an important question. Is it true that you sent Flan to assassinate King Krachevskoy? Yes, it is true. What, 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 what did you do that for? King Krachevskoy is the ruler of that abominable, dirty, rotten netherworld. Seraph dot dot dots. If you wanted him assassinated, it would have made more sense to send me. Instead, you pick that angel trainee. You think too highly of her. I am very aggravated by this. That is exactly why you are not fit for this task. Besides, this is something that only Flan can accomplish. Dun dun dun. 
Whoosh! Whoosh, chat. Yeah, not exactly the brightest angel. Huh? Is he a demon? There are demons this young? I didn't know that. Hmm. So who are you? Me? Nice to meet you. I'm an assassin. <laughs> 10 out of 10, chat. Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that. You're pretty dense, aren't you? just met dense i think an assassin that tries to kill someone in his sleep is a lot ruder you're right i apologize is she really an assassin it looks like i failed this time so i guess i'll be leaving now i'll be back again please take care H hey wait someone get in here now Are you yelling at this time of night? Oh, did you have a night meal? No, you fool! An assassin has infiltrated the castle! Huh? What happened to the prinnies that were supposed to be on patrol? Oh, they've partied themselves to sleep. Those idiots! I'm gonna smack them! Wake them up now! We've got an assassin to track down! There you go, champ. Oh, we cleaned up the area. Guess we'll talk to each of the characters here. A bit noisy. Is there some sort of party? Party hardy. Why are all my vassals like this? Ever take a look in the mirror? Have you saved yet? Huh? Come to think of it. Prince, have we saved yet? Oops. Right, they're not on this side. Prince, weren't you assassinated? Stop killing me in your head. There you go, chat. Do you have anything to say yet? Welcome. We are the Netherworld's only music shop. We'll play the music you've purchased here as many times as you want. Music bought here could be used as background music for the item world. However, you can only buy music that you've heard at least once. Oh, I might have saved over having the other ending theme, which is fine. I don't want to add that there. So technically, if you want all the songs, I think that includes the end credits. So explore the netherworld and listen to as many songs as you can. As a special gift, I'll give you one song for free. Now listen to background music number 9, Elegant Demon. Now go out and hear the different voices of the neverworld. I mean... That's like way too much money to do in one playthrough, but that's fine. Hmm. Did I forget hitting the switch behind the throne? I thought I did the one at the counter already. Nope. We'll try again. Maybe I forgot the skull, because I didn't get a prompt that time. There we go, I forgot to hit that one. So we already saw the dialogue before, but we should get new dialogue now. I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Let's see. Feelings of guilt. Certain demons stole my memories. There's something he wants me to do in exchange. 
do just about anything to get my memories back. But would the king forgive me? That's my only fear. There we go, chat. We're getting the lore. Wrote about the assassin. Congratulations. Assassination attempts mean that you're a full-fledged demon. Am I supposed to be happy? Prince, have you visited the Dark Assembly? Oh, we're, we're going to be doing that in just a moment. Don't worry about that. Need to milk the system for all it's worth to have an edge in battle. Oh, don't worry about that. Now is not the time. No, now, now is the time. I don't know if I have enough money for what I need to purchase. I think we're going to have to sell some items, Chad. Hmm. I feel like we got kind of screwed, quote-unquote. We got some pretty bad battle rewards. I need money very early on in the game, and then it matters a bit less as we go forward. So to give Chad an idea, I eventually need to get another sword. Oh, that's right. We can't see it yet. So we need to get another sword that's about 1,500, and we barely have enough, like, right now. So we're gonna have to go on a selling spree. Let's summon the assembly. I'm now at 105 mana, which nearly means we could go here. Oh, welcome, Chrysogrim. Welcome, Raiders. But anyway, let's go ahead and do our first promotion exam. We need to unlock more options. I don't think it really matters what I do here. Thank you, Chrysogrim, for resubscribing. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Doozy. We're looking a little invincible, chat. Sure, I'll Blazing Knuckles to speed this up. Alright, so now if we go back here... Oh, actually, let me let me get my sales out of the way. I'm gonna get a rank up before we make things too expensive. So I'm gonna get rid of the lesser orb. I get rid of the glasses. I get rid of these. I think I do need to sell these. Get rid of a stealing hand. I need the common orb for later. I was hoping we'd have more items to sell, but honestly, we're kind of strapped for cash. This is going to be interesting. Is this the first Disgaea on PS2? This is the Steam version, but yes, it's the first Disgaea. So now, we need better weapons to keep clearing. My customer rank is too low. Okay, so I do need to do that first. Well, that confirms. Okay, what to purchase to make sure we can get more expensive items? That's the real question. Hmm. I guess I'll purchase some fairy dusts. it real quick. That doesn't explain the widescreen. Hmm. There we go. Oh, speaking of which, every time we do one of these bills, I should save. Anything that requires a vote is kind of up in the air, so let's hope that we can win the more expensive stuff. So I can see how people are going to vote by just kind of leaning towards them. I can give them individual items if I want to. I prefer not to have to bribe anybody. I think we're good. I think they're all going to say yes. Minus one. Yep. Yeah, vote RNG is a thing. Yeah, that's why I had to double check. Alright, so now that we have that... Um... What do we have on our protagonists? Did... 
Maybe I sold it already. We'll double check. Are we seriously shy money? Is this happening? Really? We got such bad item drops from the other area. Oh boy, chat. Big yikes. I need this sword for us to continue. This is gonna suck. Mostly soloing with Laharl? Yes, there's no reason to level other characters. That is so annoying. Oh, this gun is worth a lot. Okay, we got bailed out. We we managed to get, like, not a single reward thing of items. We got, like, back-to-back -back XP, which is really bad. But this gun is gonna save us. Rest in peace, gun. Uh, that's gonna make the run a lot easier. Thank you, bonus character. Oh, that was a cheaper version of it. Oh, well, I guess I could have technically still continued without selling it, but whatever. I don't need the gun for anything else. So anyway, we ranked it up. That is a very big increase in stats. Speed up's not bad. Yeah, the reason being is if I'm not grinding out to get experience, it should go to a character that can clear basically everything by himself. So the other characters are just inefficient, and he gets a lot of AoEs. And on top of that, I need to rank him up anyway for other things. So if he just ends up getting all the mana, that's all I really need to do. So we are pretty much not going to touch the other characters at all. Until later. When we get past today's session, I'm probably going to use Red Mages for Braveheart. Because it gives a 20% attack bonus, and it stacks up to 5 times. So I'll probably have 4 people that can cast Braveheart, and that's it. <laughs> Because essentially, if I could double my attack power, the better off I am. Ah, oh, Prince. That familiar girl was just here to use the dimensional gate. Where'd she go? I wanted to go someplace where nobody could find her. So I sent her to the Frozen River. Um, doesn't revealing that information defeat the entire purpose of her escaping? Indeed it does. Alright, so let's save. So yeah, as I said before, I plan on not revisiting any location. We're just gonna beat the game as is. See how far we get. Hmm. Okay. Wish there was like a slightly pulled back view for the camera. This area up here is gonna be annoying. Uh, we'll have Etna throw. There we go. As long as we one shot, we're good. Ooh, they move closer together. I might be able to burning knuckle them. Wow, I'm surprised we could reach from there. That's kind of insane. Yeah, this is a perfect opportunity to use Blazing Knuckle. Uh, I think I need some decoys here. Me eviscerated. I need you to take a hit for me, I think. I might be able to throw him if I'm a little smart about this. Let's do something like this. We're very low on money, so I have to be careful how many people I kill here. If I was feeling confident about diagonal throwing, I think I'm gonna move myself up here, technically. Like, that's my goal. I still have this guy to kill. So, maybe... Hmm. Okay, so I can't throw him directly up there. Can I do something like this? No, it won't let me. Okay. Just thinking. 
I can actually move her here and reset her if I need to. Because the problem is, like, if I... <sighs> I have to kill the zombie. I guess I'll protect him for now. That's fine. I should be able to retreat these people. I mostly just need to make sure that I can do this. Oh, it won't let me do that because the attack zone is obstructed. That is so annoying. Alright, so I can throw him a little closer. Sure, we get the kill there. Then hopefully, I have enough people that I should be able to do this. Unless diagonal throwing allows it. I guess I could try to risk it. Like something like this. Almost got it. I think I can land it on the diagonal. It's just timing it. I think it's still restricted. Okay, I need to get higher up then. Which is fine, I could do that. I was hoping to not have to throw another person up here, but it's fine. don't need all of our party members to die. I need some people to throw for the next stage. So I should probably leave some of them alive. On the plus side, we should have enough deaths to get our next milestone. Yeah, I was hoping to diagonal throw there. I'm sure there is some way I could have done it without doing what I needed to do there. I was hoping to cheat it a little, but whatever. Ultimately, the same result occurs. Please give us an item and not experience. I need items. I really badly need this to give me items at some point, chat. This is so sad. Every time we get bonus XP and not an item, it's so bad. I don't need the experience. Okay, so I can get the, the uh, Muscle Hustle. Hmm. See, that also would have helped us with our items. So I think I need to do some shenanigans here. Let's see if we can get a little better here. That should work. So I think what happened is I didn't take enough damage before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Game, please. I'm just gonna equip these real quick. I'm gonna just make sure that we have more. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the muscle hustle. I'm gonna reduce our HP, then I'm gonna put it back on. Because I feel like we were a little under our target goal. That's not too bad. We'll be messing around with that for the future. So I think I could technically sell the Muscle Hustle if I want to. Probably do. Yeah, it's only 10 more health. It matters. I'd rather have the other stats. Okay. So if I need to, we do have some bonus items, but yeah, our money's looking a little tight at the moment, which kind of sucks. Well, let's hopefully get something a little better here.
So the other thing I want to double check, the exact requirements to get Dark Rosary. It's actually very important that I get this soon. Give me one second chat as I double check this information. Disgaea 1, Hospital Revolts. Oh, cool, the wiki doesn't have it. 10 out of 10, chat. Okay, I need 15 deaths. How much more do I need from this? Oh, okay, so I, I already overshot it, which is good. I need 40 deaths to get a uh, double ring, which is fine. I don't need that for a while. I do need to somehow get a lot of health loss in here. So that'll be interesting to do. I hope that's not accurate that I need 1500 SP, because that's a lot of money to burn. If not, we'll go forward with just triple Imperials for now. Ah, let's continue to Icy Breath. Blonde dot dot dots. There she is! What? She's the assassin? I was expecting somebody a little more... menacing? Oh well. Just shut up and capture her! Aye aye, dude! Cream of pretty Prepanica! Mighty warriors, protect me! She summoned zombies, that's interesting. Angelic language? Prince, she must be from Celestia. Makes no difference to me. Angel or God, anyone who opposes me will suffer a terrifying death. There you go, that's quite a statement. <laughs> Say your prayers. Please don't push yourselves too hard. You guys can run if it gets dangerous. Don't let her escape! We'll teach her a lesson! Hmm, hmm, hmm. Reveal yourself. Oh, it is you. Please, do not startle me like that. I'm gonna be Dark Warriors Battle awaits us exactly. So, how are things progressing? Well, I cannot say that they have gone perfectly, but there's nothing to be concerned about. I see. Forgive me for putting such a heavy burden on you. Please, it was my idea to begin with. By the way, how is the girl doing? She managed to meet Laharl safely. I would not use the word safely, but she is managing in her own way. A lot of faith in her. Yes, just as you have faith in him. Dun dun dun. Alright, so... I think this is just gonna be a killing spree for us. Can we please get an item? Okay, that, that, I'll take that. I'm like, we need money at some point, chat. Oh, like, it doesn't have to be, like, the craziest amount, but we need something. We're definitely gonna blaze knuckle. Let this take our time. Ooh, our speed's high enough that we actually dodged. Nice double kill. Look at that, chat. At least our character is very strong right now, if nothing else. Like, we are very, very strong. So we're looking to basically get enough to get another promotion exam. So we need to get, like, one more level. And we need mana in order to uh, get more bills passed. So I think in terms of mana, we're actually doing fine. It's more the items have been super disappointing. So fortunately, we started with an extra Imperial Seal and a gun, so that made up me whiffing on, like, literally every item drop for some reason. Oh well. Nicely done. Easy clear. We're back up to 1708, which isn't too bad. I'm just gonna do a safety save, and I think we're just gonna move on to the next one. No reason to use the nurse there. How persistent! 
Are all demons like this? I have no other choice. I'll have to use a sleep spell. Nighty night. Oh, no, you don't. Briar <gasps> Fire Frapparisk. Flames, burn that girl to the ground. Fireball indeed. Ow. Uh, sorry, Prince. Uh, my hair. The important thing was damage, chat. Now you've done it. I had my hair just how I wanted it. This is unforgivable. Feel the wrath of the hall. And away she goes. Speaking of reasons to use Blade Rush... Hey Chad, how convenient. So we are dodging fairly often, so that's a good sign. Can I, can I check what I have equipped? Okay, I do have the Broker to give us more money. I don't have the thing that gives us... Oh no, I do have the thing that gives us more mana. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll be okay. Even with absolutely terrible, terrible bonuses, I think we'll be okay. I'm glad I re-rolled that earlier. Nice level up. I want to hit around level 12 before I do something. Does some decent damage to us. Oh, you poisoned me. Hmm. That's kind of a problem. Let's move closer. Hopefully they attack me. Perfect. Well, we're definitely gonna have to heal after this. Let's use Hurricane Slash. Okay. That's a lot of money. My right, chat, okay, I can... We're, we're about where we should be again. That's a good feeling. Thank you, extra money. Now the question is, do I try to get the Dark Rosary? Oh. Well, chat, as to no one's surprise, the number totals are incorrect. <laughs> I think they added a zero where it shouldn't have been. I mean, this is good. This is what I wanted. Uh, I don't think I really care about an Arms Master. Arms Master improves your weapon proficiency. But I don't think that matters. A Broker, though, actually matters. I definitely need money. I'm always going broke. Listen. We're gonna get rid of our least important one, which is probably Broker by itself. Oh, we have an Arm Master as well. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, there's no reason to not put this on. Right, chat? Like, okay. So now we receive more money overall. I think it's literally... I think it's literally, like, every level is 1% extra cash. So 15% extra cash is not bad. I think chat would agree. Even if I'm only getting, like, 600 a stage. Considering how tight money has been to the point I was within, like, 40 of what I needed... I will gladly take another 500 to 600 across the next few stages. So that's good. We have all the deaths we need for a while. Well, I guess I could always get a head start on the next group. I know, isn't that amazing, chat? So much misinformation online, it's like actually insane. This is why planning runs is so hard, when people are just wrong. As I said before, quote, quote the source I just read, Dark Rosary 3000. Whatever. I'll have to look up sources later. Let's go to White Death. And also... I will double check before we go further. Okay, no ally deaths. That's the most important thing. So we're almost where I want to stop. I want to go like one more dungeon. I'm gonna get to the chapter end. Let's go to the Frozen River and see the story here. You can't escape. I'm proud 
to say that I am the most persistent demon in all the netherworld. Is that so? Wow, that's really something. Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, I think that's the way she is. <laughs> now it's my turn to show off a little. But I'll have to use the item the Seraph gave me, so I can only do it once. How convenient, right, chat? Only once. Are you ready? Here I go! Prince, I think we're playing by her rules. Gah, oh, goes to the dragon chair. Prince, we have to fight this? We don't have much choice, do we? Hi, right, chat. Well, this will be interesting. That is a lot of health. That has more health than mid boss had, as a reminder, chat. And the and it's actually tougher. Fortunately, though, Chad, it is a crippling weakness to fire. <laughs> it didn't it didn't sound anything like an elephant. It's not quite sweeping in. Oh, I think I could see what I need to do. So, Chad, we're we're gonna give six feet under a good salute. Cause uh, I need to do this. Uh, we're gonna have gonna bite it. Throw us, I think. I need one more person for the throw. Come on, red shirt too. I think this should work. Now we're gonna use blazing knuckle, which will hit all four. We're gonna end our turn here. Oh, and that was some big damage. Ooh, she healed them. That's brutal. Good counter attack though. She 100% needs to die. Mm, I'm gonna make him walk towards us. In case I need to finish him off with another character. Perfect. Good level up. What's our current level? Level 11. How closer would we to leveling again is the question. Is there a way to tell in this game how close you are to leveling? We have enough mana, but I don't think my level is correct. Hmm. Hopefully this levels us. Not. Thing. That might level us. Got some kill bonus though. Wow! You defeated my dragon! <laughs> You've caused a lot of trouble for me. I don't know who hired you, but I'll make you regret the day you tried to assassinate the great Laharl. Uh, excuse me, but why would I want to assassinate you? Huh? I am Angel Trainee Thwan. I am here by order of the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord, King Krichevskoy. You're here to kill my old man? You're old man? That means you're the king's son? Doesn't anyone in Celestia read the newspaper? You came all the way from Celestia for nothing. My old man died two years ago. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. H hey, why are you crying? Your father passed away, right? You'll never see him again. There you go, Chad. When I think about that, it makes me sad. Huh? Are you crazy? You came here to assassinate him, right? Why should you be sad? Are you not sad? Me? I don't have that emotion. That's not true. When you lose someone or something important to you, you cry, don't you? Your heart aches, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't understand a word you're saying. How come? How come? Because
Because I'm a demon, of course. Demons don't know sadness? E exactly. I've never experienced such an emotion in my entire life. If that's true, then does that mean demons don't know love either? Sadness is only possible because of love. You're right. Demons have no love either. That's... that's just... too sad. She sounds just like my mother. How stupid. Love. What good is it? What's the point in having it? Love is the reason mother is dead. I don't believe. I'll never believe in love. There you go, chat. Love is over. If demons really don't know love, then it's my duty as a Celestian to explore the matter. I was ordered to assassinate the Overlord. But this must be a sign from the heavens. It has to be. Whether demons are pure evil or not, if they really don't feel love, I will bear witness to the truth. What's love good for? I don't need it. Demons like me don't need that kind of crap. If that is true, then demons are a real threat to Celestia. Since I can't complete my mission, I have decided that my new goal is to learn the true nature of demons. I must know for certain whether or not demons are capable of love. And if necessary, I will carry out my original mission with a new target. There you go, chat. <laughs> Right? Be my guest. I shall burn a true vision of horror into that empty head of yours. Angel Trainee Flan joined your party, chat, because of course. <sighs> Prince, are you doing recruiting an assassin? And an angel with that? But this might avert his attention from me. A nice attempt at malicious laughter. It was close. <laughs> There we go. Nice, easy chapter clear. Goodbye, episode two. I love that they didn't update this, by the way, on the PC version. This is definitely the PS2 graphics for the little cutscenes. At long last, the nefarious Angel Flan seems to have forsaken her evil ways. N nefarious Angel? But can an old dog learn new tricks? Flan suddenly reverts to killing machine, slaughtering a crowd of innocent demons. Killing machine? Finally, she transforms into a space monster. Could this be the end of the netherworld? Space monster? All right, it's time for me to transform. Next on Space Detective Etna, Episode 3, Etna versus Space Monster Flan. I'll protect the netherworld at any cost. I want to be a space detective, too. Too bad. Sure, we'll save the game. Salary? Yep, today is the Pretty Squad's payday. I get that part. Now, explain to me why I have to pay your vassal's salary. My vassals are your vassals, right? But well, then it's only natural that you sign their paychecks. Ugh, I can't argue with that. Fine, but it's not coming out of my pocket. Huh? I thought you had plenty of money. That's my allowance. No one's touching it. There you go, chat. Not the allowance. Stingy. Shut up! So who's the richest guy around here? We'll just loot his place. Is he always like this? Yep, always. I never met anybody like that in Celestia. I'd be amazed if you did. But you won't last long in the netherworld if something like this surprises you. Ooh, this is such a culture shock to me. Episode 3, A Hint of Kindness. I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything we could do in here. Well, let's see what Edna's journal has after we talk to the NPCs. Where is the assassin? I'll take him on. Good day. I'm Angel Trainee Flan, the assassin dispatched from Celestia. 
Pleased to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Prince, you sure this is an assassin? Don't ask. You don't have money, steal it. It's so cool that playing dirty is permitted in the netherworld. I don't think anyone gave permission. Why are the folks up in Celestia sending an assassin here now? There hasn't been any interaction between us and them for thousands of years. Angels hating demons is old news, but this might be the start of something big. Things could get interesting. <laughs> the assassin was an angel? What is the world coming to? Prince, have you been to the item world? You want to level up an item? Just travel deeper into the dungeon of the item world. Power up an item. You must defeat the residents known as specialists and have them submit to you. There are the things you should know, so ask the guide to the item world. Wow, such friendly advice coming from a demon. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> yeah, let's see what's here. Celestial visitor. Funny angel arrived from Celestia recently. She has orders from the Seraph to assassinate the king. But the king died two years ago. What a bonehead. Anyway, if she gets in my way, I'll have to get rid of her. Hmm. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Uh... I'm put the printies lower on the list. Maybe something like this, maybe. I like they're gonna die and gonna bite it. We'll, we'll shuffle them around a little bit. Somehow red shirt is level three. I'm actually impressed, <laughs> right, Chad? Someone actually survived and got experience more than once. So yeah, Flan is actually somewhat useful. So I'm gonna put her near the top. The reason being is one, well, apparently she came with a rare item, which I don't remember if that's guaranteed. But the other thing that I actually care about is in her status menu. Power of Love. She's gonna be our heal unit for the next episode or two to save me money. And then we'll ignore her forever. <laughs> pretty pretty much is how it's gonna go. Hmm. I don't know if being level 11 will mess something up or not. Because I was trying to figure out like good breakdowns for certain things. Uh, oh, you know what? We might level doing a promotion exam. This might be fine. I was looking at some general recommendations for when to do certain things. Like, when I'm in the status menu, I need 601 experience, okay. I see it now in the middle. Chat mentioned that earlier. We do need quite a bit of experience. Let's go ahead and do the promotion exam. Oh, they are worth experience. Interesting. Oh, the poison there is just kind of rude. So at least with the promotion exam, we could get that stuff out of the way. Would I be able to do another one is the question. That's a little questionable. I'm gonna say probably not. Uh, I'm gonna save. We're coming up to a point in the game where there's gonna be quite a lot of RNG before we go back to normal. So technically I can add stuff to the, uh, the shops. I don't really care about that. I probably wanna do a more expensive stuff though, cause we need a stronger weapon. Hi right, chat. <sighs> Seriously? Um... I think I'll just reset. <laughs> like, I could persuade by force, but I, I don't feel like doing that if I don't have to. It's actually somewhat easy, it just takes a lot of time. I'd rather just redo the vote. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Hopefully we just get it. So anyway, chat, remember how I say I save before we do any votes? Do you like how that wasn't anything remotely like the other thing that we just experienced? 
Wasn't even close. But it's something else. Well, anyway, that's one bit of RNG down. Now the question is... Do I bother buying anything here? What is the most expensive thing that I could get right now? I'm like a little shy of buying a sharp edge. This is a big damage jump for us. I might just hold off for a little bit. Yeah, we're like just a little shy. I could sell these in theory. Hmm. I guess it just depends on how badly I think I need this. Like 21 SP I don't think I care about. It is our fastest way of getting SP resets. Hmm. I'm on the fence. I, I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna get Dark Orb soon. I don't think this will matter. I think I'm overthinking it. Let's just sell this. I can't believe we have, like, no spare items to sell. That's actually insane to me. We have one spare Imperial Seal, which I could sell for more cash if I need it. Right now, we're set up basically as good as we could get for a while. I think it would make sense if we could buy it now to get it. Ooh. That's actually pretty strong. 52 attack? Because we got Gladiator 9, so that actually boosts the attack, and... We now ranked up the shop, which is good. Yeah, that's a pretty big damage increase. Almost a 20% jump chat. We could sell our ninja sword. So we have some cash to revive our party now, which is important. We need to do that at some point. But as you're, we're about to find out, we're going to be forced to do a gimmick. Although before I do that... If I reincarnate right now... Oh, I don't have the option to do that. Oh, I'm only rank 2. Well, maybe we'll be fine then. So I need to hit rank 3 to reincarnate. But now that I have this weapon, I think we'll be fine. I'll we'll probably want to blade slash them. This might also level us, which would make me happy if it does. I would prefer to win this fight if we can. Getting poison there really sucks. Oh, we didn't get poisoned. That's good then. So close to leveling. This is gonna be kind of close. I might have made a mistake here by pulling the other guy over. I think we'll just be a little shy of leveling. We'll see if what happens. Target high problem. Get out of here. Seriously, wait, are we gonna die because I, I low roll? That's gonna be so sad if we die here. Oh, we barely lived. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And we level. Perfect. That's what I want. Holy. <laughs> we went down to like nothing chat. I'm just like, you know, that was that was something. Uh well we won. Oh interesting. It doesn't actually take your HP or SP. Oh, so I should be spamming more skills during that. I didn't realize that or maybe because we leveled it restored. I don't know. Either way, we're good. This first time playing Disgaea? No. I I've played it before. Improved counterattack. No, I don't care about that. Okay, so I could transmigrate, which I think I do want to do. So if we're not going to repeat any stages as part of the run, I need to make sure our level ups actually matter. And hopefully this will be either a plus five or a plus six. So that means I'll basically catch up to as much... I basically have to essentially hit level six to be the same amount of strength question is 
how much of this do I need? I think I just go straight to skilled. You can see chat, like, that's how tight the mana was, by the way, chat. Regain all health SP when you pass the promotion exam. Oh, okay. So I have, like, just enough to get the six that I'm looking for. Like, that's how tight it was. All of that will go towards attack. Character has eight pupils, no mentor. Apparently got a Steam Achievement. Okay, so let's save again. So now our level ups are more efficient. That was super tight on mana. I have located the richest demon in the vicinity, but due to a barrier, I cannot open a gate there. So, what can we do? I kind of know what you're talking about, but that sounds very weird out of context. You need a key. A key? Yes, in order to open a closed gate, you must fulfill a specific condition. The condition for this gate is that you must be equipped with an item that is level 10 or higher. The prince has to equip it? This gate stuff is pretty picky. You must enter the item world in order to level up an item. Let me warn you, the item world for a highly ranked item has many strong enemies. Yeah, that's why we're not going to a highly ranked one. My advice is to start with a common sword to avoid getting in over your head. Please be careful, Prince. Receive Mr. Kensi's exit. Tutorial, Mr. Kensi's exit. By using this item, you can return to the world's castle from the item world. In addition, you can return to where you left off at a later date. Okay. So. Well, chat, uh, we're gonna spin the wheel. <laughs> Is chat ready to spin the wheel? Because, uh... We are now subject to some very brutal RNG. I have no idea where this is about to take us. I'm just gonna go where our common orb is. Because this has our broker on it, and I can always put it on somebody if I really need to. I actually managed to not use any healing items, which is good, because I'll probably need that later. The item world is one of the most dangerous places in the netherworld. Walk in and prepared and you may die. You statistician? Nah, that's not needed in the run. We're not planning to repeat any areas, and there's no point to grinding in this game. The Skya one is very easily broken. I feel like- I feel bad for people that go for statistician because you could just get level 9999 monsters instead. It's much faster than grinding with statistician. The topography, geopanels, and geosymbols change every time. You might run into gaps in your path. I'm not to blame if you enter without an item to escape. All right, we're just gonna pick a random item because I'm just looking to clear it. I don't really care what any of these do, like at all. Matter. We're so early in the game that items here are bad. <laughs> you just if you go in with that mindset, it really doesn't matter what we do here. Oh, apparently it's defaulting to uh, elegant demons. Yeah, hopefully I can exit these areas pretty quickly. There's a green for invincibility. I could actually clear this floor. Hmm. I think what I want to do, since I have access to easy experience, why don't I just get a couple of kills before I go to the next area? Because the worst that happens is I just have bonus experience. Yeah, and then we can just leave. 25 experience is not worth staying here. But getting a free kill, however, is worth it. Because you saw how tight our money was. There you go, Flan. Let us leave. There we go, chat. Bonus money. Hmm. Ooh, this is a weird layout. It's like the thief class. Okay, so we have some sacrificial pawns to get us a little closer. Unfortunately, nothing is threatening them. So if I leave our initial throw buddies close to each other, we should be good. Something like this. I definitely don't want Flan to die. I need her for something later. Oh, I didn't mean to move the Harl. My bad. And like... Ooh, 
move her here so she's less likely to get murdered. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Go ahead and lift this up. Uh, can I diagonal throw to anything in this? Oh, actually, that's not as far as I thought it was. Proved to be an interesting bait for the enemies. I guess I can afford to wait a turn here. Yeah, this should be fine. And then I got bonus XP and bonus mana. So that's good. Just gonna make my life easier for later. So we can immediately exit the stage, which is good. How tough is this guy? Level 3? I think I could kill him again. We're taking safety cash. I don't think it's technically needed. But the closer I get back to Blazing Knuckles, the better. I think we just need one more level. Bonus doesn't matter, right? 100 money? Nah. We should be good. Attack minus 100%. Uh... I still have 50 something SP. That should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and leave. There's something there if I want to unlock it. This kind of level sucks. Uh, I really don't want to die here if I can avoid it. Is the bonus worth the hundred is the question. Hmm, maybe? I wish I could move him in a way that would be more beneficial to me. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a gamble here. I do something like this. I think I could protect her by killing one of our other people, which is what I want to do. Make sure none of them can get targeted. I don't care if Laharl gets hit, he's got enough health to survive now. Yeah, that's fine. I think the other enemy can't move there because the base panel's in the way. This is fine. We're gonna go on a killing spree here. I'm noticing we're not getting money for killing these enemies, which is a little concerning. So we're gonna have to actually clear a stage if I want the cash. Which, given that we were kind of low earlier, I probably want it. That's not who I thought I selected, but that's fine. Okay. So on the plus side, if I do get more unlucky rooms like this where I can't just like instantly skip to the end, at least I can stage clear a little bit. Okay, so this is bonus cash for the shop. I'll take it. Uh, bonus money. How many enemies are there? One, two, three. Well, that's it? Hmm. Uh, can I kill them with geo panels? Not really. At least we should still be able to do this. 
we're gaining we're giving him back a ton of levels so he's basically about it on par in strength as he was earlier it's kind of funny I need to do this actually there we go we just need to get to the end once we have a level 10 item we could continue the story Oh, well, there's no way I'm doing these other things. Although the damage 20% is kind of funny. Holy, can you imagine? <laughs> like, here's an example. Like, does the game really think I'm going to throw across that gap to go fight all these enemies? You're out of your mind, Disgaea 1. I don't know what you're thinking. All, all that just for bonus experience? Even if I popped everything here, those rewards are pretty terrible. Anyway, I guess I'll go on a killing spree. Why not? Okay, so I'm at 37 mana currently. 40, okay. <laughs> like those enemies slowly approaching us. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Let's save our money. So as I said before, on the plus side, we need to basically just constantly get 100 mana in order to get expensive bills passed. So we saved ourselves a little bit of time by having to get really terrible item world stuff. But since they're in a way that I can still deal with it, we're good. I'm waiting to see like the garbage. Oh, we haven't seen it yet. There's also ones in here that are like clone or like ally damage or other really terrible things that I don't want to see. But fortunately, it's been mostly kind in that regard. Honestly, we've been so strong. I might even just full clear this if it's a good bonus. A new sword. Gensi's exit. I don't know if I could Gensi exit on this. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I could kill them for the sake of killing them, which I think I will. Yeah, we're just gonna have a little bit of extra mana. That's how I view this. And it brings our proficiency back up, which is more important. Because remember, we get about 5% extra to stats for every weapon proficiency upgrade. So we should be getting quite a bit of it back now. I do not mind extra stats for the rest of the run. Another person. Everything is red. If there's actually another color change one, no lifting enemy boost. That is a horrendous combination. Okay. Um. I mean, I could change it to two colors. If I do that, I get bonus experience. Maybe that's worth it? I have no idea what we're going to do with the rest of this room, because defense up is actually a problem. So, like, if I pop this... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hold on. Is there actually... Oh, there's a Geo panel down there. So I could, in theory, kill that and get rid of everything here. Is it worth doing? Not really. The no lifting makes this more annoying than this should be. So I basically just want to go over there. I don't care if we lose a couple people. I guess the question is more... And I still one-shot these enemies as is. I can. That's actually good to know. So I can't lift this, which is kind of annoying. Um... I could force them to step off of the panel to fight me, which might make some sense. If I stand over here, I think I'll be fine. Since we have enough for all stats that we should be good. The specialist actually soloing the other enemy is kind of funny to me. Not gonna lie. In fact, I think if he kills him, we get the stage clear. Although that means I won't get the bonus experience, which is fine. I don't like need it, need it. Um, I guess in that regards, if the stage is going to end, I might as well just heal. Oops, 
There we go. I'll take that. A little extra cash again. So we can instantly leave this floor as well. We do get a Mr. Getsy's exit if I do clear it. Is it worth it? Is there an it? Um, you know what? I'm not going to say no to it. If we're going to do more stuff, if we're going to do like the bonus stuff, I wouldn't mind another Mr. Gunsy exit, to be honest. Although their health totals are looking kind of bonkers on some of these enemies. I mean, at least our health total and defense is starting to go up a little bit. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have some sacrificial pawns here, chat. Sorry, Rogue Nine. I need you to uh shut down the enemy real quick for me. Red shirt two, I need you to hold on to the enemy for me. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, killed him. Let's see how we do here. We're now up a ton of mana, which is nice. I'm more worried about Hellpepper more than anything else, which is why I got the Fairy Dust earlier, in case we get unlucky. So I'm actually more worried about you. Can't seem to hit you currently. Let's summon you here. Alright, the big threat to us is now dead, which is good. I'm gonna hop back up here. I can heal myself next turn if I need to. There is an enemy that looks like they're kind of far away. I'm looking at that correctly. Was there somebody? There is somebody, like, way over here for no reason. Okay. Well, I might as well as clear for the Mr. Gensi exit. This should provoke a counterattack. Or not. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna do this. You need to go, because you're the only thing hurting me, and then we're going to heal again. Oops, Jack can see why I wanted Flan earlier. <laughs> I was saying she's going to be the party healer. She saved me like three healing items there, so thank you, Flan. Ah, oh, there's a gap that can't be crossed. That now makes more sense to me, why we couldn't do anything there. Fortunately, though, we should have enough health. I don't have any more SP. I could, in theory, use these to get SP, as we bought some earlier, if we were ever in this scenario. But I think at this point, we're going to take our extra cash and uh, take our extra mana, I guess. How are we doing in terms of mana? 102? Okay! We were at, I think, literally 1. So having 100 extra mana is actually good, so I could get expensive bill again. But I don't think I have the money to back it up. So this will make up for us not getting any items earlier. Also, our proficiency is pretty good, right? Yeah, it's already rank 5. That's huge. There we go. All that going towards yet another upgrade. Let's return to the castle. So we can see the levels impact the items in real time. If we kill the associated people with it, it basically boosts them further. So the intent of the game is that you basically kill something like the broker, for example, and you can move it to another item and potentially stat up the item. Now, granted, you know, I didn't do any stat raisers here, so I can't move, for example, the gladiator off. I could move this level 14 broker off onto other things, which is kind of useful, I guess. So if I just always want to have it, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, items have a population limit. Unfortunately, chat window is blocking, so I'll just show briefly. On the upper right, we can see we have a population 3 out of 4. So as long as the text is blue, it means I could transfer them. There are, however, some really annoying things about how the system works, because there are ways to combine two people into, like, a super character that has more than one stat boost, but that means having to unlock them again. So sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't. But hey, we managed to clear it, so yay us, question mark. Yeah, I think the Arms Master actually helped us out a lot. Just kind of lucky that we ended up with that. I think our level 15 broker is still better, but hey. 
move forward with this. Sadly, I need to wear this item, as the game was saying earlier, in order to progress. Let's go ahead and heal up. Which I should be able to afford, because we uh, full cleared a couple areas. So not bad. Get rooster blood, there you go. Another broker? Sure. Okay, ch okay, chance. So let's go ahead and save. So we managed to get through it, so that's good. So without further ado, let's continue on with the plot. Rinse, I see you have a level 10 plus item equipped. I will now add Denaro Place to the list of available areas. Once the gate is open, it will remain open. No longer need to equip an item of level 10 or higher. Denaro P Palace. Sounds rich to me. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's there. Dude, we'll work hard for our paycheck. All right, Chad, let's go see what gaudy entrance has in store. So we have Guy, Sinewid, and Musashi. Valorous. Oh, there's no geo panels or anything. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I just had an idea. Uh, let's go ahead and get. Uh, oh, I don't think we've used Target in a while. Let's bring Target here. Ooh, I'm gonna have to diagonal throw. Ooh, can I diagonal throw that? This would save me a lot of time if I could do this. If I mess it up, I mess it up, and it's whatever. I mess it up. Whatever. I do like that later on in the series. I don't have to worry about that as much. I'll let him die for his sins. I was going to blade rush them. That was my intent, but I messed up the diagonal, so I might as well just let him die. We need to, we need to have more character deaths anyway. So we got two from the item world, we got another one there. Unfortunately, we also used a ton of SP while in the item world, so I don't think we're too worried about anything there. That was such a perfect position. They game over themselves. Ooh, that guy's kind of tanky. Fortunately, we're now level 8, so I'm not that worried about what he could do. If we were still level 1, I would have been concerned. But nah. Continue to use some SP. Oh. Nice. <laughs> they punchy meat shields too. You're not wrong. We're gonna kill Kyle? Okay. Sorry, Kyle. Perish. We might have leveled up our boss killer too, which is nice. Extra money, excellent. That's all I care about. Um, I guess I'll go back to the nurse. There's the dark orb. I was thinking we were gonna get at some point. Masters, teacher. Manager's not bad if I'm one more mana up. I don't think it really matters what stats this has. I think I'm overthinking it. Let's just grab it. Sure, this is good enough. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Common Orb. So sorry, Broker, level 14. We're gonna go ahead and instead put on a... Probably the Arm Master again. Honestly, the more proficiency we could get, the better. Curiosity. So what's our next money total? Let's take note of it. It's 5,000, right? Yeah, it's 5,000. So you can see if we could get a gladiator on the sword, it does make it noticeably much stronger. But I think with sharp... Actually, I think with our sharp edge, it's actually as strong as the, the bastard sword is. Because we rolled it with the gladiator. Maybe we'll skip that then. So anyway, chat, we're almost at a point where we could get an alternate ending. We just need to get a little further. Go to the Golden Courtyard. What the? These are all from the castle. It was probably taken when the king died. 
So, this place belongs to an ex-vassal. Hmm. <laughs> This'll be fun. Hey, Prinnies, this is for your paychecks. You better work hard. Aye, aye, dude. Hmm. Netherworld Prinnies are a lot different than Celestial Prinnies. In Celestia, Prinnies cook, clean, and do the laundry. But they're all the same on the inside. On the inside? What do you mean? You're an angel, and you don't know these things? Prinnies have human souls inside them. Most of them were pretty worthless in their past lives, like murderers or thieves. Prinnies are everywhere. They work as Prinnies of the Netherworld in Celestia to atone for their sins. In Celestia, they do good deeds for free. In the Netherworld, they do ultra-hard labor for less than minimum wage. <laughs> they gotta atone for the sins. Once they've redeemed themselves or saved enough money, they can be reincarnated. I don't, know all the I don't know all the details, but that's the basic idea. So yeah, one thing that makes monster raising kind of difficult in Disgaea 1, if you want to do it the more legit way, is that monsters can't go through the process of transmigration. So you can't just like do what we did with Laharl a moment ago, where we basically set him back to level 1 and he got bonus stats. Instead, you have to turn them into prinnies, and then from prinnies, they could become monsters or humans again. Which adds kind of a really unnecessary step to the equation, and I believe they get rid of that in the later versions. But for lore reasons, it makes sense why they're doing it. It's just... It could be kind of awkward when you want characters with good stats and then you go, oh. <laughs> they got to be prinnies. I see. Well, why do they work for money in the netherworld? Never heard the saying, money makes the netherworld go round? I don't get it. Is money that important? Of course it is. Jeez, you Celestians. Look, there's nothing more important than money in this world or any other. Of course there is. Love and friendship and... Huh? What good is that stuff? Is your head full of flowers or something? Yes, I love flowers. There you go, chat. Oh, jeez. Your head is full of flowers. Hmm. Um. I was looking to see if it was bonus XP. Let's do... Can I get a blazing knuckle going? Maybe? I think I could Blazing Knuckle kill all these targets, so I need them to basically be one closer. I could put Laurel here, for example. The question is more, can this person throw from here? Yes, they can, okay. Fight over. Oh, somebody actually lived. Oh well, I guess one of her companions is about to die. <laughs> right, Chad? I mean, I'm not going to protect him. Then they all died. Thank you, companions. You were most helpful. So anyway, I think this is a... Yeah, I was about to say, a no entry, no lifting. So I need to destroy this in order to proceed. But... That doesn't mean I can't just cheese them a little. Here goes. I fully believe her head is in fact full of flowers, no brains, only bouquet. Something like that. I think I could blade rush through this. We are so unfair, chat. Listen. We don't care about what they can hit. Okay, let's also get rid of you. And I probably want Flan to heal me, so I need her, like, vaguely near me. And then we need a decoy for Flan, so that, that way she doesn't die. Let's bring Eviscerated into Body Block. So the way the game will behave is, generally speaking, it'll always target the weakest character. So I can make it purposefully not hit certain people, on top of just lifting people out of the way. No, no lifting is here. I could move the protagonist forward a little bit if I want to. I think that would be helpful. 
Then I can heal him in a little bit. Yeah, if I, yeah, let's leave her here for now. I'm hoping that guy melees me. Here goes. Not where I thought the other guy was going to target, but I guess that makes sense. I was in range. That was my mistake. So I can back up here. Then I can heal. Then I can have her retreat all the way out. Yeah, there we go. That should work. Here goes. You melee me? What a fool. What a fool, right, chat? Oh, he actually has an interesting item. Oh, you can see by it flashing in the bottom left. It means uh, it's a rare item. But it's not gold, so it could be more rare. The reason you potentially want more, like, quote-unquote rare items is the theory behind it is that you can only go 10 floors on a non-rare item, but the other ones I think you could go 30 and 50, respectively. So you can really stat up more with those items more than anything else. That is the primary difference between them. However, I don't think I'm going to be using the item world again, unless I'm really feeling forced to. But we'll see. Right now, I don't feel that forced. Bonus money, I'll take that. So we almost have enough for another upgrade. Sorry, chat for the flicker that's about to happen. I need to check my notes. So there's one more stage I can do. And then after that, uh, we're going to set up for an alternate ending. Oh, we have a we have a really good amount of cash. I like where we are right now, John. I think the broker has been kicking in since we've had him since the beginning. So us being off by like 80, I think we're up by like 400 now. It's kind of nice. Ah, oh, Prince, look! It's a portrait of my old man. Hmm. Oh, so this is what Mr. Krzyzewski looked like. That's right. He was a magnificent overlord. Hmm, not even. I was ready to dethrone him myself, but he went and croaked on his own. Hey, Prince, can I have it? Sure, go ahead. Come to think of it, how did he pass away? Choked on a black pretzel. Damn, chat. Pretzel got him every time. Huh? The world of another world died by choking on a pretzel? Well, it happened. So I guess anything's possible. Uh, and this was the person I was ordered to assassinate? Oof. Ooh. Ooh, this is, this is quite a corridor of death. Well, Chan, I think we're gonna give a salute to some of our companions. There's no, there is no way they are living this. <laughs> um, do I just let them gang up on me? I guess I let them die on purpose. I do need more deaths. Uh, a lot of people to think about. Let's let's position ourselves first. So if I'm here, I have to throw less people. Let's start on this side, maybe. Oh, but then they're gonna be in the way. Um. Hmm. Sorry, gonna bite it. I think I need you to. Oh, you know what I could do? Do something like this. Oh, so rest in peace, everybody here. They are so dead, by the way, chat. But at least we have a lot of body blockers. Rogue 9. Actually, let's level Rogue 9. Rogue 9 earned it. Six feet under, though. He had it coming. We salute those about to die. Yeah, there, there's about to be a mass genocide of these characters. Uh, I'll do this. See what happens. 
our companions are so dead. Oh, you attacked me? Fool. Right, chat? What a fool. Wow, somehow six feet under survived. I'm more impressed by that than anything else, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's like, wow, they actually didn't just explode instantly. Um... I have not landed a single diagonal yet. Don't think I'm gonna bother with diagonal strats. I kind of want them to swarm me. I think what I could do is this. I think this is a smart play. Oh, no, 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 I can't do it because of the panel. Forgot that was a thing. Unless... I should be so tanky this shouldn't matter. something like this. Unfortunately, the base panel means that I'm gonna expose six feet under, so probably re rest in peace six feet under here, to be honest. I guess because the other guy got a level up, he didn't die. Oh, there we go. At this point, I could just blazing knuckle. Ooh, they are tanky. Yeah, the, the other one here is like an actual threat. They're our level. So they don't seem to be moving very much. Are they actually going to attack us at all? Oh, they will. Okay. I came over here just to get healing. This should work out. Maybe something like this. Ah, I should be able to survive now. Harl's a beast. Yeah, he's just tanking whatever to the face. It does not matter at all. Actually, before I do that. Her leveling up this ability would actually be useful for me. Interestingly, her casting that doesn't go towards her staff mastery, which is kind of annoying. Whatever. So we're at least at the point where we are just legit one-shotting everything. 303 mana, so I actually have enough to transmigrate again if I want to. I'll think about it. Getting the early plus six is important. I don't know if it matters so much now. So we had a lot of characters die. Ooh, can't quite do that. We'll do the old classic positioning trick then. I like how they just patiently await their deaths. Hey chat, that's always nice of them. How kind of them. Damn, we are so strong right now. Look at that chat, 211 strength. Four little stats. Look at them comparatively. They're at 67 chat. What are they going to do to us? Yeah, Laharl does not care at all about them right now. So we, we have Wind Cutter unlocked. Which, as you can see, is a ranged version of the, the uh, Blade Rush. Which is actually good for us. I would have liked that in the item world, for sure. So Arm Master unlocking something a little early is always nice. So we have enough cash. If I want another upgrade, it could happen. Although, honestly, our current sword is so strong. As I said before, we might just skip a weapon upgrade. Just because of the fact we got it with gladiators actually matters. Yeah, by the way, chat, if you want to see the difference... 
with our proficiencies. Even though this is only 52 attack, if I unequip it, we go from 211 to 144. So improving our proficiency is actually pretty strong on us right now. So we managed to get it to proficiency 6, which I don't think we'd normally have at this point. But thanks to the uh, our master, we got it. Okay, chat. So we're going to do a little detour. Let's go ahead and get a bad ending real quick. We'll have a nice little how it could have happened. I'm just going to save over every slot, so that way I don't have to worry about anything at all. Alright, chat. Bad ending time. We need to uh, kill our allies. Hmm. Over here... The best part is, chat, is the killing your allies does give you XP and mana, so I just want to show you. Also, I realize that's going to be in the way. Do this in the reverse order. But keep in mind, chat, we're at 2983 experience and 331 mana. We're now at 339 mana and 2997 experience. Sure. Now the question is, how many of our allies do we need to kill for this ending? I think quite a few. So we might be here for a little bit. On the plus side do stuff like this to speed it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like how it enchants the team attack road allies. <laughs> Kinda messed up. All right, John, I'm just doing a quick check. I need to kill... Well, if I want the true evil ending, I need 100, but we're not going to do that right now. The other one that I need. 50 ally kills. I need to do that four more times. Ish. Oh, no more than that. Probably six-ish times. That's kind of annoying. This will allow me to get a preview of the next area, I guess. Bear with me, chat, as we unlock this. Although, I can also get a sneak peek at the prize reward. Also, Spirit? A good sellable. I'm not gonna wear it. Sorry, every ally near us. I wonder if it would actually be faster to do item world stuff. Maybe it would be. Just kill them in the item world. Although that would mean that would require making a lot of characters. Eh. Probably okay. So we'll do a quick check to see how many more I need to kill. Hopefully I don't kill both of them here. That would make me sad. <laughs> They're so dead, chat. So dead. Oh, we got a counterattack there. That's unfortunate. On the plus side, at least that kind of goes kind of quickly.
So we'll kill them. And when we're totally out of allies, we'll go revive them. That would save us needing to go trips to the nurse. This combat here at least goes pretty quickly. Get a little sneak preview of what's gonna happen later. Huh, the other enemy didn't try to approach me. And that's to my benefit, but whatever. <laughs> Let the genocide continue, chat. So anyway, if you're wondering how to uh, level up or get early mana, you could just kill your party if you're going for the whatever ending and don't care about the ending. Snake Kidney is next, okay. Do a quick check, do some math. 22 kills, so we're like halfway there. Then we'll perform a save on any slot, I don't think it matters. So I saved on all three. Right chat, I think we're good there. That'll allow me to assess the AI. Since I, like, kind of remember the game. But it has been a while, so some of the nuances there. I have, like, little breakdowns of, like, when I was practicing earlier of, like, roughly where I was. Yeah, sadly I can't speed up. I have to watch their attack animation here. Fortunately, we're almost done. I'm gonna move. Oh, that's not where I wanted to move. That could mess with me up, actually. It did not. Okay, that's good. So this should put us at 30, so I need to get 20 more. Oh no, it'll... Uh... Oh yeah, with this it'll... I'll kill exactly 8. Yeah, that'll be 30. I can math. Maybe it is worth going back and reviving then. I'm at 31. Kill every last one of them, pretty much. I should have had enough money to continually revive them, which is also important. I need to do three more trips. Or I'll take the snake kidney, why not? On the plus side, I'll be even more leveled up than I should be for the other encounter. Poor Flan, Etna. <laughs> the first one's gonna go. Gonna gonna die and gonna bite it, just get absolutely murdered every time. Also, I realized I forgot to give the other people experience. Oh well. I guess Flan got bonus experience, which is fine. If she levels up, it helps, but it's not needed. She will never get a kill. Okay, so we're up one level for the other fight, which is good. That gives me more experimentation abilities. Since 92 defense is pretty good. It's slightly higher than the 4 defense of our uh, fodder army. Summon him out. We're gonna hit hit me. Rest in peace, hit me. Hopefully this guy just counterattacks himself to death. Let's save me some time. Perfect. I lost track of how many I needed. I think I need to revive once no matter what here though. Yeah, I don't think I have 10 left, so I need to do it. Alright, so next set of kills should do it, and then I can back one more time and move forward. And now I'm getting a preview, because I actually don't know when those rewards unlock, since sources online are not accurate. So that means I just do this map two more times, and we could go get the bad ending. Since it's important I do this before we do anything else. 
Take it from the bottom of the list. Show the bottom of the list a little bit of love. Then kill them. That's what love is, chat. Mur murdering everything that's in front of you. They're gonna die for the bad ending. I could probably have an idea of what the bad ending will be like, given the plot that has happened so far. Man, I wish I could keep all these stat ups. Like, we got Blazing Knuckle to level 4, get that extra damage in. Look at the Sword Master, it almost went up to 7. Disgusting. So we need... Full clear here, and then I might as well as kill everybody after this. The next stage should let me kill the remaining ones that I need. So that works. And thankfully we're getting little bits of money, as I said before, or else we might be in trouble. We have exactly how much we need. We'll go a little extra, though. Goodbye, red shirts. So I think we have enough now, but I might as well just kill the rest. Right, child, there's literally no downside. I might as well just kill them. And I think this will be the last ending that we go for for a while, because the other endings are more centered through optional stuff that is not worth doing on a first playthrough. And then literally beating the game. <laughs> there's, there, I think there's like three variations of just the final stage alone. So, say goodbye to the bad endings for a while. Some of them are kind of obtuse, like you have to kill an item god and then also kill 100 allies. And one of them has to be Flan or something like that. Each of the games has some weird requirements to see all those endings. I'm sure I'll pop a list at some point, but this is the last one for a while. We're at 54, so we can agree that 54 is above 50. So now we could go see what this other stage is and clear it. Ooh, Blood Orb. Oh, I was hoping we would get the, the rare one. This The 750 heal, 160 SP recovery is very funny to me, though. So we're going to save on one of these slots arbitrarily. As I said before, they should all be the same. I might as well just leave the one that has the most, or the least time spent, I guess. Anyway, let's continue with the plot. Like the money symbol is in his dialogue. Long time no see, Hog Miser. Who's there? <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Who are you? Maharl, the heir to the throne, King Krichevskoy's son. Oh, uh, yeah. Ever since the king died, I knew I was forgetting something. Ah, so it was you, Prince. <laughs> we could not have been that important, right, chat? Everybody doesn't remember us. You call yourself a vassal? You know how demons are. You always say not to be so picky about the details. I'm not a detail. Oh, don't be so self-centered. I'm glad you helped refresh my memory. It was nagging me, like a fishbone stuck in my throat. F fishbone? You? Well, what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Now that my old man's dead, I'm the Netherworld's next overlord. I'm taking back everything that's mine, and the rest of your fortune, too. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Just because you're the king's son, it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. It's strength that counts in another world. If you want 
have what is now mine. You'll have to take it by force. That's exactly what I had in mind. Enough talk. Let's go. Fighting over money and power. Were the angels right about demons? If they really are evil, then... Ooh, we hear the song for the first time. That parasol. Yeah. Normally he'd be kind of a problem. Like, 144 attack is a lot to us. 435 health means he's gonna survive several hits. Hmm. Perfect mayhem! Oh, thank you, Mikey, for the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. And if I could get the diagonal here, this would actually be huge. It's really awkward on the controller. It's like the, uh, the, the down is easy, the up is hard. There we go, I finally got a diagonal throw. I swear they exist. <laughs> okay, I want Plon to be last. Ooh, they're kind of lined up with each other. I guess it's bad ending, so it doesn't really matter what I do here. But if you remember for the other ending, I need to move them a little bit more, maybe. That's awkward. I could blade rush them in theory. I'm gonna move him out of the way. Kind of works. Anyways, things are not longer, so I got to each one at least once. Nice, nice. Yeah, she needs to go. She looks like a problem. Fortunately, she's too high up in the air. Let's do this. Let's lure her closer. Okay, she's gonna combo us, which sucks a little bit. But unfortunately for her, she lost her partner. Oh, she didn't lose her partner. Hmm. The other guys don't move, which is important to know. Okay, we should be fine here. We are very tanky. Thank you, Dark Rosary. I'm so glad we got the item chat. That's cutting down so much damage we're receiving. It's like almost not even funny how good it is. So she's just going to be here to heal us up a little bit. I guess I'll fight him. We can use her to heal at least twice. And if needed, I can sacrifice people to be squished under the giant pig monster. So I'm not super worried about the fight. Yeah, keep in mind, Chad, as long as I have spare party members, each party member basically equals one more turn. The enemy doesn't get to fight me. Rest being sand stream for seven hours and need to rest. Well, hopefully you get some good rest in, Mikey. Appreciate you stopping by. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and get that bad ending, chat. I think I'm also at the point I could actually get characters to give stat ups. Maybe it's worth doing because I got bonus mana from earlier. I don't think I need 500 mana. Well, then again, that was for me murdering allies. We'll do a double check. I might be able to get away with the uh, stat boosts. Ooh, that's all you got? I guess I'll turn on his animations since he's a boss. We might as well see what his stuff is. Oh, she can't actually heal. You know what? I might as well show it off. I can, I can force a heal. There we go. We'll be doing that later on the run a bit more. Oh, he just normal attacked. Unfortunate. Bonus experience, sure. <laughs> you lose. I'm taking everything as promised. You, you can't. I won't be able to survive.
without my money. Well then, I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> How cruel! Not only is he taking his money, but his life, too. I can't let this happen. If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands. So there you go, chat. So if you kill enough allies, you get the option to kill or don't kill. So if you do want to continue the game and get the other bad endings, you select don't kill. But chat, we're going to select a kill. We earned it. Hold it! So, demons are evil! Fool! Of course they are! Then you leave me no choice! I shall defeat you! <laughs> Based off our equipment and, and levels, I don't think I'm that worried. Give it your best shot. Dot 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 chat. It is a pity that it has come to this. Yes, the gate between the Netherworld and Celestia may remain forever sealed. Dun dun dun. There you go. Credits. <laughs> nice, nice little bad ending chat. It's like Radiant Historia. We just choose how we ruin the playthrough. We still need uh, the evil Marco ending. The best ending. <laughs> yeah, see that chat? I beat the game twice. That was easy. <laughs> So apparently mid boss's theme is called Ah oh, My Magnificent Life. This one is called Tragic Marionette. The more you know, chat. Final self-destruct ending is also something special. Yeah, we do need the island stick figure drawing. That one's a classic. So yeah, so on the plus side chat, we ended up with a lot of extra mana. So I can probably create some extra characters with this. I don't need it right now, but maybe next time. I'll weigh the options. As I said before, I'll need four characters for buffing Braveheart. Because the idea being that four will use it, three will probably die, the final one Bravehearts me again. We get more damage. If I want to do, like, the the uber boss of the game, I need to be able to Braveheart at least two creatures, so that means I have to Braveheart enough times that I get Staff Mastery. So technically, if chat wants to see the uber boss, I, I need to do it at some point, regardless. But spoilers, if we're doing the uber boss, I'm definitely cheesing it. Like, we're, we're playing sort of legit so far, minus that diagonal throw shenanigan. But uh, everything else, mm -mm.
<laughs> the, I'm a ghost. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, GG. Nice, nice ending. So we're like one stage from where I want to be. So unfortunately, we we took a little longer than expected, just from the standpoint of uh, I got absolutely cheated out of that ally kill. Thanks, wikis. So anyway, we're gonna go backwards in time. Uh, sure, the save. I'm gonna make sure to resurrect people, or else that would be very awkward. Muscle spirit with dietitians, maybe? Get it a little better. I got worse. That's still worse. I think Aeronaut gives uh, wind resistance for the chat that was curious. Firefighter, I think, is fire resist. Good enough, I guess. We have a lot of money. Now the question is, do I just purposely buy an item to rank up? Or do I save up for 9,000? I'm on the fence what would make more sense to do at this point. Because, like, these weapons are not good enough. But we have quite a distance between when we will get another upgrade and not. We could sell the against these exits, in theory. We could also sell our Imperial Seal. We're getting at the point where the Imperial Seal doesn't matter anymore. So I might do that. I'll think about it, though. I'm not in a rush to make this decision. Also, oops. Okay. Let's do this for real. Let's get the story. Hmm. Honestly, maybe it's better just to blade rush these two. The early damage on them. Did a shocking amount of damage to me. Will I actually die here because of how much that did? I was not expecting to take 80 something. Hmm. Kind of a problem. Oh well. Sacrificial pawn time. I mean, I might as well heal the other guy. I don't think it really matters. Mm. So she doesn't have an- oh, so I could probably give her a uh, SP booster, actually. So that way I could get one more heal per battle. That would make more sense. Because I'm actually pretty low on health, I'm gonna have to... Uh, probably pick up an enemy or something later. I actually don't want to split the experience here, so I'm going to put her in here. Oh. Well, gonna bite it. I'm going to need you to uh, do this for a second. I definitely need to heal another route then. Unfortunate. Yeah, that guy having fire resist does make things more complicated than they should be. She can't heal again, so if she dies, I don't think this matters. Yeah, now I'm kind of regretting not getting the Braveheart. Would have made my life a bit easier. How did that not kill? That's unfortunate. Hmm. That's like a weird spawn position, too. On the plus side, I could take my time with these two. It just means instead of using items, I could just go pick up the, the boss. Just bonus money. 
Yeah, let's have these two delay for the boss, and it should be good. They're still at a 6 proficiency, which is good. Oh. I was not expecting him to reach me. That could have been very bad if that actually killed me. We are definitely going to pick this guy up. There we go. <laughs> this is the strategy I was thinking I would have to use earlier. Well, six feet under, I need you to uh, do, me a, do me a solid here. Well, on the plus side, I don't need to worry about character deaths for a while. There you go, chat. Cutting it close. Oh, boy. Well, we got bonus money for a reason, I guess. <laughs> you lose. I'm taking everything as promised. You, you can't. I won't be able to survive without my money. <laughs> well, then, I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> How cruel! Not only is he taking his money, but his life, too! I can't let this happen! Okay, so let's see how it could have happened. Worst comes to worst, I'll stop him with my own two hands! Wait, you bully! There you go, chat. Kid Demon. Who are you? Hogmiser's son? Dot dot dot. Let go! I won't go easy on you just because you're a kid. Dot dot dot. Hey kid, why are you risking your life for this greedy pig? Windows, please. <laughs> Thanks, Windows. <laughs> Windows is like, listen, you gotta know about this update. You wanna die? Dot dot dot. I love him. There we go. Don't you understand, Laharo? This is love! Here we go again. Love, love, love. Is that all you got in your puny little head? You damn love freak! You can call me whatever you want, but why is it that you refuse to believe in love? You reject it because you're afraid of it. Isn't that right? Laharo, my son. Hmm? What do you think of me? Do you love me? That is quite a haircut from the father. No, I hate you. <laughs> a typical answer for a demon, which is fine for now, but one day. <clears throat> now she's got me thinking about my old man. We need a hog son as an emote. Oh no. My old man, huh? What was he trying to tell me that time? Dot 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 chat. This is stupid. Why am I even thinking about this? It's all that love freak's fault. Forget it. I've wasted enough of my time. Huh? You're not gonna finish him? It wouldn't make me any richer. All right, start taking the good stuff. But make sure you leave some behind for them. Laharo. Hmm. Hogmiser was deeply moved by Laharl's kind gesture, and he joined your party without your consent. He also received 5,000 hell. That is a significant amount of cash. Master Lamington, I finally understand. Those words you spoke to me. Now it might be worth getting an upgrade. Master Lamington? What is it, Flan? The angels told me that the demons are all evil. Is that true? What do you think? Mm-hmm, Master Lamington, the Seraph. Hmm. I've never met one, so I don't know. <laughs> so unfortunately, we got the father, not the son. We, we did not get the son, sadly. Listen carefully, Flan. There is no such thing as absolute evil or absolute good. The angels assume that they are good and the demons are evil. That is an unfortunate misconception. Demons do have love. The angels... And in fact, most demons just do not realize it. If we can guide them, if we can make them see, then one day... One day, Chan. Master Lamington, 
Mr. Lamington, I will accompany Laharl for a little while longer. He is selfish, self-centered, and stubborn. And those aren't his only shortcomings, but I have discovered a hint of kindness in his heart. It may be small right now, but I have great hope that he will learn to love. So, Master Lamington, please forgive my digression. Episode 3, Hint of Kindness, and... Roaming the wild frontier, Etna is challenged by the Dark Chef Hao! A cooking battle deathmatch begins that will shake the Earth's foundation! Sounds cheesy to me, dude! This week's dish, Cajun-style gumbo! And the ingredients, the Pretty Squad! Dude, us? Etna struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, Ajikage, the ninja cook, appears! Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna, Episode 4! Etna, 120%! With a pitch of murderous intent! Yeah, hopeless, dude! There you go, chat. Yes, I would like to save the game. Save over the top save file. Our little Flan. She managed to escape the grasp of the demons. <laughs> she probably used her feminine charm. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Hmm. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? That's it. That has to be it. There's no other explanation. There's no other explanation, Chan. I won't allow it. My plan shall not be interfered with. Still, this demon den is so filthy, it reeks of evil. Hmm? What is this book? It reeks of evil. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <sighs> what kind of book is this? My god! This page! This page! All these pages! Uh oh, he's ha ha in chat. Ha ha, chat. Huh? I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty trick. Flan! Where are you? <sighs> hmm? <sighs> ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. of the netherworld. Huh. Episode 4. Gift from an Angel. A pendant? Yes. It was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? No. If it were you, you would steal it impartially, right? Hmm, S so you do get it. Then what do you want me to do? I want you to help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? No, but... What's wrong, Flan? You look tired. Y yes The Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the Netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the Netherworld very long without that pendant. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. Hmm. Is that so? Well, that sucks. Prince, what you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. Also a true statement. That's our prince. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Uh, uh, of course! Laharl? What? It's the truth, isn't it? Laharl, if you can find my pendant, I will 
give you something good. Something good, you say? Hmm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Give it up already. I'm a demon. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you are old, maimed, or diseased. Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? Dot dot dot. Tell me! Dot dot dot. Are you trying to provoke me? Dot dot dot. <laughs> Fine! I've got some time to kill. Laharl? But, let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake. And when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. Thank you, Laharl. You're an angel. You shouldn't be thanking demons. I do what I want, when I want. I'll move the, the thing over so you can see your expression. It's quite something. Remember that. Huh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess I could hide the chat during certain cutscenes. I always forget that the, the view is partially blocked. So anyway, chat, we ended up with uh, Hogmiser. Who actually comes with a pretty strong item. 60 attack. You get to keep everything he had on him at the time. Uh, I think for her... I might just put on a common orb that we had earlier, just so I get more heals. I could also technically put the Imperial Seal on one of these characters. I could give it to him. I will actually be using him a couple times in combat, since he is the same level as the protagonist. Gulek says, What the pretty's talking about a second cycle? What does that mean? Us monster-type demons can only equip monster-only weapons. Isn't that just unfair? Are you utilizing team attacks? Hmm. And bribing senators. It's best to bribe the highest level senator possible. The higher their level, the more influence they have. So basically, money is power, huh? All right, we're at 1,200 money. I might not have to do anything special for it. Now that you mentioned it, did you see a suspicious man prowling around last night? And what did you do? You watch quietly from a distance, of course. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Okay. The portrait. I saw a portrait of the king in Hogmiser's palace. My heart aches when I look at his majesty's face. Do my memories have something to do with the king? I never use monsters in these games. Uh, they are, like, super broken in, like, every Disgaea game. <laughs> Just to the point where, like, you don't even technically need to use other characters. But I understand. People like to name their own characters or have their own character classes. But yeah, the, the ability to combine monsters into a super monster skips, like, all the leveling in the game. Although, as I said before... I think Disgaea 1 is one of those examples where we shouldn't ever have to do that if we play the game smart. In fact, I'm not going to basically touch the class system at all in this playthrough, which is kind of funny. Find out soon enough. It's a little longer until I get my memories back. Oh, right. They could be used as weapons in 4 and 5. I don't even think I... Did I use them like that? Maybe. I think the last one I played was 4. I don't think I played 5. I think there was like a, it was like a werewolf protagonist or something. It's been a while. Yeah, we definitely need to get a rank up here. Right, I'm going to save before I make any mistakes with the menus cuz it's probably going to happen <laughs> to be honest with you. Do a safety check. A monster is broken in this game anyway. Uh, I mean any of them, because you can make them 999 in less than an hour if you really want it. So you could just win with like Nekomata and like Gulahan and just absolutely stomp the boss. Or the slime monster we talked to. That one's also a good one. So instead of spending like hundreds of hours getting people up to 2,000, 
We could just do like a new game plus if you want later chat and just literally hit 9999 in about an hour. Sadly, they removed the story mode quest in this version of the game that allowed for automatically scaling Nekomatas. That made it hilariously easy to get 999s. And this one we have to try a little more. So I have to unlock things like the Cave of Ordeal, for example, and, and pass a lot of assembly bills. I'm at 402. Oh, that's unfortunate. Today I learned this version of the game, if I reincarnate, I have to go through the promotion exams again. Huh. Okay. I don't think that's true anymore in the complete version of the game, but hey, I don't mind getting bonus money. So this is the closest we're going to be doing to quote-unquote non-story stuff. Because I do need the promotion rank. But on the plus side, that means I get extra chances of proficiency. And I might as well as use our other abilities. Give them more experience. Go ahead and promotion exam again. So I can make it more expensive if I want to. I probably at least want to do this one again. Okay, we're getting a tiny bit extra mana and other things. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and level up our Blazing Knuckle a bit more. Because it does do a lot of damage, but if it ranked up there, I think that would have killed, given how little health they have. If nothing else, we're getting our sword proficiency up higher. Not too bad. I think I was here before. Let's do this one again. So we were here, I think, at level 12 or level 11 last time, and now we're level 13. So we're even stronger than the first time we did this. Getting poison does suck. We have a hilarious amount of mana. Oh yeah, 470? Oh. Alright, that makes me a lot less worried about trying to ration my mana, knowing that I have to do that in this version. In theory, I could transmigrate again if I wanted to. So you could see, like, last time we did this, we got our ability bonus to 6, but due to us having enough raw stats, the ability bonus went up slightly. Which we'll also see, there's kind of a mix between stored levels and your base stats. I forget how it plays out in the UI. But basically, it can store a little over 18,000 levels in the back end. So the more I transmigrate, the better my stats will be on like another level up. And then on top of that, the level in which I do the transmigration, I will also get bonus stats. So in like a more normal playthrough, we would probably do something that gives us like hundreds of levels and just do that like 10 to 20 times until we have enough raw stats to skip everything. And that'll make up not hitting level 9999 or whatever, because you can have like 9999 level stats at like 2000 or so. Which is still pretty high, but it's more manageable for sure. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I want to do here. I will double check that I saved, because we're about to do some RNG. Chat knows how I feel about RNG. <laughs> Just, let, let's see if we pass it. More expensive stuff. Yay! 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 
Okay, good. One element of RNG down. Let's take a look to see if there's anything actually good here. I can't get the two-pronged blade, although it is strong. <laughs> Yay, indeed. I could buy the magic sword. Which I think is actually worth grabbing. But I need more money. Uh, I really don't like selling Mr. Gensi exits. Uh, let's sell the Dark Orb. I don't think I need this for anything. Because that's a really strong sword. It's one less attack, but it gives me 13 defense, which is really high. So if I mess up at any point, that's a lot of survivability on the character when it gets multiplied. I think I'll take this. One less damage, but just way tankier. There we go. I needed to get the customer rank up for the future. Yeah, look at that, chat. It puts us from 96 to 112. So, yeah, that's kind of a jump. 229 attack to 280. I lose a little bit of accuracy, but accuracy matters a bit less with specials anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's sell our other weapons so I can actually revive people in the future. There we go. You can see money's still a little tight-ish, but I think getting the broker earlier definitely helped. Uh, I think we'll pause in just a minute. I don't think there's anything else I want to do other than we'll leave the teleporting around for later. Check one more thing in the store before we pause for the night. Yeah, like, in theory, we could buy defensive items, but honestly, I, I think defense is a little bit of a trap in this game. It's nice if it's on a weapon. I don't really care about it when it's on its own. So I feel like a lot of people are kind of grinding out to get, like, 50 in defense. And you can see, like, we're focusing one character, and so far we still don't need any armor. The thing that is more important than armor is this rosary. The fact that it gives strength up and health is just kind of crazy. So the more we can one-shot, the better. Yeah, that, uh, that sentry is going to be real nice for the future. Gives me some wiggle room. But anyway, chat, let's pause here for now. Talk about how we feel things win. Well, I do think we would have been done, like... 20 minutes earlier had I not unfortunately got the ally kill there but hey that's what you get sometimes chat you try to you try to do research and the game is like you know what I don't think those online sources are accurate <laughs> and you lose about 40 minutes but hey it happens but I think overall we're kind of clearing our way through the bosses so far I got some extra levels and mana from the item world I technically could have skipped everything if we got really good item world RNG where I could just throw them to the end. We only had a I think of those 10 floors, I think like only four of them we could do that, which is not great. But hey, that led to us getting extra money, which saved us needing to sell some items, and it gave us extra mana, so I'm going to be able to unlock stuff maybe a little earlier than expected. So we're going to continue our run and see how long it takes if I ever need to actually do anything other than the story at this point going forward. And I'll keep in mind that if I transmogrify again, I have to do the promotion exam again, which is actually not a bad thing, given that I could get some of my mana back that way, which is kind of funny. So if I spend like 100 to transmi uh, transmigrate, and then I get 100 back anyway from promotion exams, I guess that works. But yeah, we have to be very careful with if I want to do it again in the future, just from the standpoint that we're probably going to end up near level 100 or so by the end of the game. So you could like you can hear by the level I'm saying it's gonna take a while for it to be relevant again, in terms of transmigrating. But yeah, this plus six attack per uh, fight is actually pretty huge. So I guess overall it didn't really matter if I hit level twelve or level eleven. It didn't look like I got bonus points from stats either way. So hey, the more you know, I guess. But I think for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the bot, I'd like to say thank you again for watching, and hope to see you again in the next part.